I think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Hope y'all are doing great. Welcome to another Grand Blue Open Bracket. I'm Koyo, one of the mods here at Waz, and I'm here with my lovely commentators, uh, Lennox and Jetsu. How are you two doing today? Doing good, doing good. I'm um, ready for some Grand Blue. Uh, Vane's out, so I'm really hoping we get to see Daddy Vane in Bracket tonight, you know what I'm saying? Daddy Vane is so crazy, bro. I was like, why is everyone thirsting over the... Oh, he actually... He says it himself in the game, yeah. in the gacha too. Like, it's it's not a... Uh, what's it called? It's not a translation error. He is, he is in fact, that kind of energy. He's got the Golden Retriever boyfriend kind of deal going on. And we also have the Tier 1 from Levitar once again. Damn, for the 18 months. Hell yeah. Damn. All right. Let's go, Levitar. Let's go. All right, we also got a uh, match Reno going on tonight. Um, so hit that exclamation point match Reno in the chat. Oh, see, Jesus already even got you. We uh, we got plenty of codes going on. Uh, I think we're still in the 40 plus range last time I checked. Um, but yeah, pop over there, log in, claim a code, hit the contribute button. Um, I don't know, I don't think we have follow requests tonight, um, but we do have some stretch goals uh, 150 to top six. Um, oh, goodness, I have to actually look at the screen for this. <laughs> um and uh tops or yeah excuse me 150 for top four and 320 for top six how mm -hmm. embarrassing yeah. um but yeah yeah we uh plenty plenty of avenues to get us there hit that asap so we don't have to bug you all night um but uh j2 what do we uh what do we got for games going on because i think we got some good ones coming up Ooh, first up we got Medusa Lowry. So, you know, the character choice is eluding me right now, but also we have a we have a lot of pinch hitters that you guys I'm sure are super excited to see as per usual going on here at WASD Grand Blue. Who we got? We got Zerom, Coach Steve, Prada, Senpai Spider. Uh an interesting pick here, you know, Witch Hazel pulling up with the Percival as well. And I think a few other players are uh, you know, maybe gonna be going back to the Flame Knight himself. Uh, you know, with the more Ooh. recent changes on the patch. So I'm excited to Ooh. see a decent amount of him as well. I want to say, well, we have Fuselet in bracket as well, right? So we're going to be seeing more of the Vasaraga with a few of those changes too. So I'm excited. I feel like it's going to be explosive. So quick, quick correction. It is it is the Lord of Flames. So you, you, have, oh, to, you have to say right, it with emphasis. Right. I am the Lord of Flames. You know what I'm so saying? So true. So true. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to my... Uh, my OG Grand Blue enjoyers so with the, specifically with the English Percival act um, voice actor. That shit was so good. Um, I think they still have some of those voice lines here, but I, I know they uh, they recast some of that, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we got um, we got some Medusa up first. I don't remember who Medusa has been playing either, but we've seen Medusa a whole ton of Melty Blood, um, yeah. mostly offline. But it started entering some more online stuff. Uh, one of the Vlav, one of the very good Vlav players, um, mm. still playing out there today. So I'm very excited to see what they have in Grand Blue. Oh yeah, I'm excited to thank Dusty Feeds as well, also for a tier one. Yo, a solid two months now. You guys are showing too much love. Hell yeah, we got the hype train going on too. Yo, that's my Which boy. That's it. the uh, that's that's the that's my homeboy who gave me the uh, the red tank I always wear. Oh shit, the Lennox classic. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where that's where I got there that from. Go. What up, Dusty? Um. Anyway, we're we're rolling it everywhere. Um. Yeah, some of these round two matches uh, are also going to be kind of slick. Um. I think we got Cornstar and Levitar coming up. Um. Levitar, I know mm -hmm. was at uh. Um. Oh goodness, what was it? crossover arc that literally just mm -hmm. happened um and corn is like an og belio player from vanilla um and i haven't seen yeah. them playing a whole ton in this game so I'm, I'm real excited to see what we got going on over there hell yeah you know belio is definitely one of those characters that's like you know we've brought it up time and time before 
a few characters, you know, going into Rising are like, oh man, they're so good because their ultimate skills are so good, or they really, you know, like the confirmation ability off of the Raging Strikes. Belial has just like stayed good, you know what I'm saying? You know, plus <laughs> 2M yeah. is is still pretty damn strong no matter what game you happen to put him in. He is he is a uh, a strong ass Shoto, and I feel like it's hard to dethrone him unless you really end up getting other parts of the kit. So excited to see some more of that. Unless you end up with like an actual Percival situation, the the yeah. only way to like aff uh, nerf him, I guess, would be to gut him, and that that like defeats the whole point. So, um, you mentioned Witch Hazel was gonna be playing some Percival tonight, yes? Yeah, so, you know, of course, a lot of us know Witch Hazel as one of the premier Narmayas in NA, right? But, you know, with the with the Percival changes, she was like, hmm, who are we thinking? Who are kind of the winners of the patch, right? You know, coming to mind is probably, like, Anila tried out a little bit. You know, who else? Vasaraga, you know, definitely a, a pretty big winner as far as buffs go. But Percival as well, I think, was was on the eye for Hazel, especially during the open beta. And now that, you know, Lord of Flames himself is a little bit back on the menu, still, um, you know, pretty technical and maybe has to be pretty intentional about how you keep out a lot of these really strong rushdowns and a lot of these really strong ult skills as well. I don't know, man. I've been seeing a lot of the Percival tech cooking up on the timeline. So no stranger to the technical characters. I'm excited to see what Hazel brings later on. Yeah, uh, I I'm a I'm a big Percy believer. Um, we we got to see a lot of that in Vanilla, um, and I obviously a lot of the tools aren't there, right? Like um, yeah, like Rush for example was uh, was kind of like kind of busted for Percy. You just throw out that far medium out there, um, yep. pick up something, and just blast them with everything you have. Um, but I don't know. It, it, that's another character. It's really hard to like completely gut him like the the kit itself is still very strong and i'm glad we get to see some of the uh some of the original stuff coming out soon mm -hmm. in the chat percival do you have that burning finger at nine stocks bro yeah. the <laughs> day one post patch we were all like oh i wonder how the lord of flames himself is doing we we check twitter we scroll the timeline all of a sudden it's just near dying i'm like hmm, hmm nice. yeah, what what happened what happened where'd the hp go bro <laughs> oh man all right, so apologies. We're just uh, sorting through a couple technical things here right quick. Um, yeah, it seems I... that Medusa is uh, taking a little bit of time. Happens every now and again. Oh, Ooh. indeed. indeed. Well, trying to right. make sure that things are set up correctly. So I'll chat, who, who, who was familiar with Lowry? Do we have any, do we have any Lowry friends in chat? Cause I'm not, I'm not familiar and I'm curious about the character choice. I'm trying to see like from their avatar. Cause you know, some people really want to rock their main both in the character select and through the lobby, but I, I don't think they're giving us enough information. They're like waiting outside of the, uh, outside of the cab too. So they can't get the preview. I think we're, I don't know. We'll, we'll see in a little bit. We're kept in suspense right now. Wait, okay. Larry's in the chat. I'm not familiar. Hmm. Okay. okay. Hmm. Oh, I man. see. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have to kill this guy, J2. <laughs> Blocking's not enough. I got to kill this guy. It does uh, ultimate stocks for Percival. All right. It's time to die. Um, I'm seeing. Uh, oh, we got corn coming in the room, too. Are we going to are we going to flex a uh, another game while we wait for uh, for Medusa or just having corn on on standby? Uh, we'll it see, seems we'll like see. they didn't fully realize they were on stream. <laughs> Love out. <laughs> that's, that's the best, Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. you're too excited to play, you know, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time hits. You're like, hell yeah, post work. It's time to game. Then you're like, wait, we were supposed to be on stream the whole time? <laughs> the whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's okay. That's uh, how that goes. Yeah, that, that is how that goes sometimes. Um, it's all good. Uh, at least we got that sorted out. So Medusa should be in here ASAP. Um, yep, and yep. while we're waiting for them oh damn y'all are making a mess out of that match Reno. 37 codes left damn um, okay definitely keep them coming though uh i'm i'm, I'm always a fan of a of a strong start you feel me that's Just what i'm saying get us out there fast um yeah yeah plenty of plenty of codes left feel free to throw down a direct contribution if you're feeling generous help us hit some of those stretch goals uh we're pretty consistent about making top four payout at the minimum um so i'd appreciate it if we can keep that run going and of course uh m's got the shop down below uh, buy a t-shirt buy a hoodie buy yeah. one of these travel mugs because they're ultra convenient that's what i said oh i 
I wish I had my Anila mug on my desk right now. I had just Whoa. walked in. I was like, oh, man, you know, I finished my my pre-bracket coffee, you know, so I can hang out with Lennox and have a damn good time watching some Grand Blue. But I'm like, no, my my shill opportunity. I was too focused on cleaning up my desk and having the optimal workspace that now I can't shill and show you guys these amazing designs. But if I'm not mistaken, is it exclamation point shop that gives you the link? Indeed, it is Imperius.club. I was going to say .com, but do not put the extra .com. It's actually just going to give you an uh, entirely different website. But we are going to be getting you guys some Grand Blue action in just a second. It looks like we got our players headed up to the stand. We got Belial versus Beelzebub. Okay, for our first match here, Lowry versus Medusa. I feel like Medusa is on. I totally was not paying attention to which side who sat down on. I feel like Medusa yeah, right? loves, but I, I don't know for sure. No, not not right off the bat. Don't do this to me. It's all right. It's cool. Yeah, sure. we're, 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 cool. we're chilling. New year, new me, etc. Mm -hmm. New patch, new me. But these are two characters that really haven't changed too much, right? There's been like universal changes to 6XL. So I'm not sure if either one of them has been hit in particular off the pressure that they got off of it. But as far as character specific changes, they're doing the same old thing. Um, I think I think Bubs like kind of walked out ahead there because a lot of that six six L worked. Oh no, pre patch like could kind of blow him up because he's like mm. has to play a little different. But it's I don't know. We'll see. Bubs bottom ten. That's not the first time I've seen that take, and I haven't seen enough to believe either way. Bottom five. Yeah. Okay. Have a. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we have active Bubs down playing in the chat. <laughs> Let's there we go. go. Oh, so Lowry on the. Uh, the Belial here runs into dive kick and has to give up the corner. Send out the black flies. Now we're just gonna grab right on through. We're good. Back out to the mid screen though. Oh, all right, five U again. Let's go. Yeah, just TP's right out of that. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, this is like weirdly reminiscent of the Flav play. So like, I could definitely see the Flav bumps pipeline for Medusa. Be able to kill off this. Yeah, that's the super. Um, Oh, no, yeah, all right, hit that. All righty, there we go. I mean, it's cool to see the influences from the different games, right? You're like, oh, I see the Vlav in a little bit of this play right now. Let's see if we can make our adaptation going into round number two. Larry caught out. Yeah, that's the range you want to be at right there. Um, Bub's like, has a lot of reactions in mid range, but oh no, okay, never mind. Forget that. Close, heavy, we're going to the corner. Dude. Oh my god, run up for the throw bait. Just do a dive kick once again. EX for the corner. Plus frames off the black flies. Little throw action too. BP right out of there, yeah. Um, yeah, Belly has a lot, of, a lot of options to deal with those, but they are a little more committal. Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay. Able to get the spot dodge on the EX projectile. No confirmation on the 6XL. Already seeing those changes. Yeah, right. I like the weight on the spot dodge too, right? I feel like it's the first time we've seen the charge up, so not trying yeah. to get too antsy avoiding the projectiles. Does lock the dive kick we're waiting for that dp on the plus frames yeah lowry's been pretty consistent with that so far really forced medusa to slow this down a little bit Ooh. look at this like just playing right outside that range where where medusa has to really commit dude this is <laughs> who said who said footsies weren't in grand blue anymore bro I, I like how, as you said that, it was Medusa pulling up with the 6XL, but obviously yeah. both of them are so scared. Now, SSBA available on both sides. The throw just barely doesn't kill. Dude. It's double back, though. 15 seconds on the clock. All right, so that doesn't do as much damage no. there. But if you connects again, that doesn't kill. Oh, no. no. Imagine hitting 5U and then 5Uing the DP. That's crazy. Double five U is actually insane, bro. You spent a hundred meter just to get parried twice in a row. It's a round apiece here, but the third five U is not going to find the mark. Oh wow, yeah, this is still game one. Oh my goodness, that round was just so long. Here we go. Oh my. Yeah, just the meaty doesn't get confirmed though. That could be trouble. But there's the five H into the basically full confirm and the throw bait. That's dead, yep. brother. That is dead. Damn the full pickup off the old Unisonic. That's game number one over to Medusa. That. Round number one and two were so much slower, right? So much respect, uh, looking for opportunities to spot dodge, roll through, you know, just so respectful of the meter. And then round number three, Medusa was like, all right, I'm going in. Yeah, Medusa, Medusa, I think, has the read right now. Um, 
And, and Medusa's one of those cats, like, once they smell blood in the water, they're pretty good at capitalizing on that. So yeah. this is really going to be a Lowry route here to, uh, to fight this out. Yeah, really using a lot of the fire you to, even if the parry is not hitting, to try and get this space back towards the mid screen. But, you know, playing so passive afterwards that you lose all that space. Anyway, caught out with the Vortex. Oh, a little misinput right there. Oh, it gets the pickup after. We'll take that. Absolutely. All right. Just, wow, Ooh. able with to actually deep, uh, catch that with the close heavy. Good stuff. Oh, my God. The Medusa, too aware. Not going to let you get away with the MDP. No plus flames here. It's a full anti air to put you on set point. All right, just like mm -hmm. that. Check the resources too. But uh, Medusa's done a really good job of managing diamonds so far. Yep. Never in any danger of getting that damage penalty. Big chilling. Doesn't ever really feel pressure to have to use that brave counter, right? So we're saving it. I don't even think we see a lot of raging strike confirms, but just holding on strong. Don't need to use the mechanic anyway. L block flies, just keeping you at bay. I'll finally spends it. All right. Yeah, yeah, wants to keep the wants to keep the corner. I guess that makes sense. This is this is where Bubs like really wants to try to keep you. Um, I haven't seen back. ultimate karma yet, but the hundred meter on deck, it wouldn't surprise me if we see Medusa use that at least once to try to open Lowry up here. Yeah, Lowry playing a little bit slower, right? A lot of times we were getting caught up by the run up into uh, you know instant dive kick to bait out the throw, but oh, there we go. Finds a little opening in the mid screen here. Spend the super. It scaled up the auto combo, but it's all good. You're really just looking for a lot of that corner carry. Yeah, it takes away a diamond too. That's that's probably gonna force Medusa to do at least think about using it. Jump in heavy. No, doesn't doesn't go for the uh, the full route right there. Could have done more, I think. Damn, caught into the vortex. You dropped, you left a little bit of damage on the table. Now you're getting caught out with the SSBA. Twenty percent damage bump. This should be it. Never no mind. No way. Oh my goodness. I was I was quite sure that was going to kill too. Bates the DP, but gets caught on the dash forward. This could be Ooh. tragic. Never mind. It's the back throw. Oh my goodness. Melty blood on the back throw incident. Let's go. Shake hands. Uh, Living on a prayer. Just barely didn't kill with the SSBA. You tried to pull up. It looked like close out, close out to frame trap the back throw, but I think you just, uh, you know, delayed it a little bit too long. Got thrown for your troubles, but that's going to be you sent down into the loser's side. Very well played for Medusa, though. Um, yeah. Like, kind of kind of was up against it in that, that first game for a hot second, I think in round two or whatever. Um, yeah. But just just was able to get that adjustment, and from there it was okay. I've I've figured out kind of where you want RPS, how you want to kind of take this. Now you get to play around my tempo, and I'm going to force you to start exactly. making some decisions. And that, that that was too much at that point. Um, yeah, big big ups to Medusa. Like Bubs Bubs is not as blessed as uh, as he was in the previous version of the game. So definitely definitely respect for uh, for making it happen there. Exactly. Played it a lot slower, I think, in that first game. You know, we were talking about how that second round felt like it took forever. And then immediately, as soon as we got to round number three, saying, all right, you're playing super passive. You're letting me just walk you down to the corner every time, sending the five U's, and then getting a little bit desperate when you finally have that opportunity, right? So, like you said, perfect reads to seal it out. And we're heading into the next one. Who we got up next? Looks like it's going to be Levitar versus Coinstar. These are two OG players right here. Um, Levitar traditionally does play the six, um, and it looks like Corn's going to break out the Siegfried. Sieg um, Korn, Cornstar's played a couple different characters uh, over the course of um, Vanilla Gramble, I believe, but the, yeah. the most prominent one that I remember was Belial. Um, very, mm -hmm. very solid. I think West Coast Belial player, if I remember correctly. Corn, okay. if, I, if I got your region wrong, I sincerely apologize. I should know that by now. Um, Levitar, I believe East Coast though, uh, pull, pulled up for crossover, I think. Um, yeah. So Korn going from Belial to Siegfried, right? Shoto with an incredible projectile to the newer Shoto with an incredible projectile. I know a lot of people are, are having Siegfried, especially after this most recent patch in, in contention for top one, right? After dodging, you know, a lot of the, uh, the big hits that some of the other top tiers hit. So let's see it heading into game number one. Once again, we got Cornstar versus Levitar. I like, I low key love this, uh, this setup he's got going for Siegfried between the weapon and the skin, but yeah, right. Neither here nor there right now. Levitar locking the neutral down with the uh, great six options. These special moves great for control and pace at all kinds of ranges. Um, and now you're gonna feel a little strike throw here. Oh no, that's not great. 
Dude, all that color coordination on the skin and the outfits just to be uh, jump scared by the blue flash. The EX skills glowing gold here. Levitar just needs one more hit. Any pickup into a Raging Strike should be able to kill. Uh... Cornstar has SSBA too, and like two diamonds down, Levitar has to be real careful because this could be a tie game way faster than you want it to. Or even worse, you eat a stray throw and then get like dead off that. Oh no, very scary. Oh, no. Close, heavy. J2, what do you think? This this is going to be so close. Bro, you got no diamonds. I'm going to say, fella, is that what? Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, he's he's not dead, but you're you're one hit away now. This is, this is throw range. Yep. Diamond apiece. Spot dodge on the empty hand a little bit too late, though. Yeah, uh, the ultimate one is a little too fast to spot dodge, and I think that was yeah. late anyway. Um, all right, ultimate uh, ultimate claws coming in clutch right there from Levitar. Engage. Those good six rush down options to close that one out. Ooh, scary little whiff, but our heavy's not quick enough to punish. Yeah, maybe trying to, you know, low crush a little bit there, catch out a round star 2M. Good straight hits here, send out the EXDP. Hmm. Cornstar's doing a really good job of, of these 2M checks. Like, you see a lot of the really good Sig play, Sig free players do that. Like, you get at that range and your opponent wants to, like, try to steal their turn back. Oh, quick yeah. check. And then it's either back off or, or decide to go in. All right, falling button trying to keep you in the corner. Jumps over the Rekka, but it ends up putting your back against the wall now. Yeah, like, clearly want a neutral jump right there, but just had a little too much forward momentum. That's, oh, yeah. man. Unlucky, but it is what it is. Oosh. Oh no, the whiff punish with the ultimate empty hand. This is gonna hurt J2. Yeah, might as well. Full pickup. Not quite gonna be able to kill, but you know, guess for game. It's throw range. Especially Again. with so much meter behind it as well. One old skill. Try and make your way in, but no, Cornstar doesn't give you the chance. Cash out to the SSBA, and we're tying up the rounds. Oh, uh, you, you saw that counter hit there, too, that crouching counter hit. That was definitely yeah. the start of a tough 2-H right there. Levitar was going for it just a hair late. Cornstar getting away with the jump in. Um, and that's going to bring us to our final round once again. Man, we're, we're having some close games tonight to start it out. That's what I'm saying. Fun for our lives already. 6-6-L, the immediate brave counter said, no, 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 2+. plus. I'm uncomfy. Put you back up against the wall once again. Pick up the orc in, EX flame. Incredible. It got nerfed, but who cares? We're still going to do it. Yeah, it's not the same setup. It used to be reduced on the active frames, but that doesn't mean it's still not an unblockable that you have to be ready for. Back throw into the corner. This is bad. You're about to get shipped, but it's a hit that does it. That massive overhead swing from Siegfried is going to guarantee that first game for Coins Park. Dude, send the EX bonk. Just barely spaced out so that you really have to commit to try and escape the corner. And all of a sudden, this big ass sword is chopping its way back down. All right, Levitar taking a second says, All right, let's reassess. What are we thinking going into game number two? Deck, I see you in the chat. Stop it on by as well. What's good? Yeah. All right. Yeah, Levitar. Levitar has definitely been one of those cats in the past that's like rushed into rematch and sometimes been granted it later. So I'm glad to see them taking a minute. Oh, here we go. That's what you got to do. All right. It's a brave counter, but the, the info is still there. Here we go. Pick up into the Rekka. Oh, tries to go for the fireball. We just jump right on over. Doesn't get anything off of it, but you do escape from the corner, right? And you catch out the empty hand. Yeah, that, that jumping normal coming out clutch. But once again, ultimate claw, skip a neutral. Ultimate empty hand gets blocked. And there's the mm -hmm. brave counter. Finally spending the, the, the diamond right there. Gonna need at least uh, that. Mm, not quite. Can you cash out? No. Needed two oh, M into no. Raging Strike there. That might have done it. Yeah, exactly. You had the meter for the Raging Chain behind it too, but crucial drop in the routing there gives Cornstar one more opportunity to live. And with no BP to your name, you're taking mad damage, bro, into the SSB. No. That's a huge drop. So that should have killed. Good, like great recognition from Levitar right there. Recognize. Okay, I can get a throw punish. This that's this fast. Uh, but yeah, cash out into SBA would have been the way for Cornstar. Yeah, wow. that one is a heartbreaker. Wanted to optimize a little bit too much. Says, all right, let me not waste any time. But we're looking at it. Levitar, another round on the board here. Back throw. Oh wow, going for the empty jump blow off the cross up, no less scary. Oh great jump from Cornstar, but wasn't able to get anything off of it. She's moving over that projectile. There we go. Airstall with the sword of Damocles makes your way back on down here. Pick up with the Orkin. Ooh! 
had time to spot dodge. All good. Spend the BC, but once again, we're seeing Levitar so low on the BP every single time. Wow, the sweep goes under the 5L right there. Might have been a frame thing, but this should... No! No animation Ooh. means it's not enough to kill. Needs another hit. Yep. Get the cinematic that you needed. Yeah, and Brave Counter below a certain threshold now isn't going to put you in chip damage, but it's all good. We got the Rekkas to tie it up one apiece. Hell yeah. All right. That's what you needed if you're Levitar. That's, a, that's, that's the confidence booster right there. All right. Game three, very doable for both players right now. Just the lock in. You feel me? Both of them taking to the skies on round start. They're like, all right, I know you got some... Some strong <laughs> buttons to slash out on the ground. Let's take to the skies real quick, but back up against the wall. Oh, actually, still caught up by the flame wall. Looking for the projectile invul on the empty hand, but all you're getting is a fistful of damage. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Not trying to set up. <gasps> no, back throw again? Oh, my goodness. Levitar is ready with that. Jumping right over. All right. Keeping it easy. BC to stay in the corner, and that is going to be a punish. Uh, gonna be some decent damage here, and I like the spend right there. Don't don't need to worry about the damage buff. You have no health anyway. Corner yeah, to corner. Chilling. The damage penalty doesn't matter if it's basically one hit either way. Tap on the dome here puts you into SSBA range. Ooh. Yeah, one hit either way is exactly what it is right now. Uh, both these players got to play this super safe. Instant tech of the throw. Great mm. spot dodge, and that is gonna do it for Cornstar. Oh my goodness. Dude, Usually you want to use that like on, as yeah. like a reaction or a throw bait, but yep. sometimes you just got to go for it there. You know what I mean? Cornstar was just ready. Ooh. Sending it so many times. Undeterred by the spot dodge, though, says, all right, do it one more time. A little bit too late there, and it's a full counter. It doesn't get a lot of damage, but it does put you up against the wall here. Full BP for Levitar. Indeed. Cornstar is on set point right now, but Ooh. you're you're in a rough spot right here. Okay. Big close heavy starter. Blocks the reset attempt. Yep. DC to get out of the corner. Text the throw instantly. That's a big problem, though. Yeah, you wreck us. Oh, you empty hand. Dash on through. Off of the throw tech. We catch you with the fireball on the way down. It's final game, final round. It's got to be. It's got to be right now. Both these cats look locked in. Oh, love the air to air. Yep. Jump over the empty hand. Jump over claws, too, apparently. Mm -hmm. Can't jump over the fireball, though, and that's going to cost me a little bit. Can escape the corner with a little EXDP action. Send the flame wall just to get a little bit of space. Right out of range of the BC2. Try to air stall, but nothing found. Mm-hmm. No 2M right there. You see Corn's like. Corn's not starting to get scared, but Corn's like, I gotta play this a little more compact. Yeah, Let me hand through though. the firewall. Back throw, like you said. <laughs> again. <laughs> Don't do it again, bro. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yes? Question mark? Yeah. Yeah, we tech those. We tech those. All right. Smart. Drop the Ooh. drop the, the fireball that time instead of the ultimate move. Safer. Yeah, it's just caught by the frame trap. It'd be like that. Get the pickup? No, not quite. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit too high in the sky. Looking for this one last hit off of the BP. But SSBA is available. One more hit for Cornstar. Can bring it back. But no, not off the empty hand. Levitar with the wall gling seals it out with a 2-1. Locked in right there. Oh my goodness, that's 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 what happens, you know. Yeah. Once you let the once you let the six players be scrambling, they're gonna out scramble you. Just, just find a way to slow it down, or you too can can get sixth on. You know, I I, I kind of yeah. lost the thread there, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Especially uh, towards the uh, the end of the set, right? You know, any hit is a scramble so going for these delays we saw the deep running into the empty hand as well right so we we're seeing so many of these good spot dodge and reaction checks from cornstar but built up over the set especially when this last interaction is the difference between you moving on in the winner's side or being sent down to losers it's a lot of pressure yeah it sure is um and cornstar is gonna be feeling that pressure uh when they yeah. get down there you feel me um that's mm -hmm. i don't know losers it's still pool so like you still got a chance but they uh i don't know not not or not where you want to be right now but corn corn has the uh the pedigree to try to make it happen and the thing it wouldn't surprise me if uh if we saw corn a little later in bracket that's um, what i'm saying next up i think we're gonna have char char real smooth 
Yes, yeah, we versus will. Sierra. So I thought this was going to be versus uh, Sarah, who's a near player. But I'm looking over at the bracket, and I realized the homonyms got me uh, got me tripped up. I actually don't know who Sierra plays. So if anybody in the chat happens to be familiar with the player, let us know who's going to be heading up against the uh, you know the Vera Master himself. But while we wait, of course, we got a little bit of downtime for you guys to stop on by that match arena once again. Let's see how many codes you guys have claimed. I know last time we checked in, we were at like 37-ish, the high 30s, and we're at 34. Now, there's definitely more than 50 <laughs> of you guys over there in the chat, and there's definitely more money to be put into the prize pool at no cost of your own. So any social media, if you guys got Twitch, you're over here watching the live stream anyway. You might as well log in with any of that social media, claim the code, and put a free 25 cents over there into the prize pool. Um, also... I might have the lore on Ciro. Um, Ooh, okay. Ciro, Ciro showed up. I, th I think in our beginner brackets, yeah. and I want to say it was a Zoe player, but I might be very wrong Ooh. by that. It's been a minute. Zoe or Kang, I want to say. Okay, okay. No, neither. It's Catalina. God. Oh, you know, Kang kind of sounds like Cat. They're uh, they're adjacent. <laughs> Very different play styles, but you know, yeah. I get it. I get it. If we're if we're going by by sounded like that, that means I'm uh. We're, we're grasping, right? Now. You feel me? It means, it means I was wrong. <laughs> you you and I are even because I thought this was Ciro, the near player, but it's Ciero. You thought it was Cag, but it's Cat, right? So, you know, we're like 80% there. We're, we're so like getting close. the partial credit. <laughs> we're Between so the two of us, we've we've managed to secure partial credit. That's that's, that's real teamwork saying. right there. We're making exactly. it happen. That's the duo. Ooh. Making it happen, but definitely a, a character mm -hmm. that is slowly starting to make it happen with some of the new changes in the patch, right? The old skill wall bounce in the mid screen. I know the cat players are uh, definitely enjoying that one with the addition of the new skin as well. You know, that's not going to change any of the gameplay, but you're going to have a slightly better time as we head into game number one, Char Char Real Smooth versus Sierra. This is the lore match, and these two nerds it are going to let this intro rock, I guarantee oh, yeah. it. Yeah. All right. And the call is the this version of the game. Like, not the cannon. Oh, yeah, we're getting horny already. Yikes. Mm -hmm. On main oh, for our no. third stream set. Let it rock. Mira, what are you doing? Stop this madness. Ah, uh, so this, this is this is a funny matchup. I haven't seen this in this version of the game, believe it or not. And I've seen a good amount of Vera. So I'm, I'm real curious to see how this has evolved. Yeah, both of them definitely have the very uh, Shoto style setups, you know, and the toolkits. Yeah. But obviously, I think Vera is the one who's trying to really make her way on in. Uh, get that strike throw started so you can find any way to look for that install, but no, instead, right, up against the wall, has 100 meter to be cash out for the install. No, we just sent Luminiera <laughs> into the 5 U setup. Evil, save yeah. the meter. I saw it coming, bro. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not to say that I would have gotten out of it, but I smelt it coming. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Ultimate Scarlet Oath moves to the corner. Does it get a conversion off of it? Oh, goes for it again? Oh, no, you just get a knockdown. There's no conversion. I'm sorry. That's dead, I was going to say, Oof. like, we we had another 50 meter behind it, too. If we saw one more BC into a third Scarlet Oath, I wouldn't have been surprised. I was seeing it in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go there. Um, right off the bat, char, char, real smooth. Yeah, I was going to say keeping things pretty smooth, but we're seeing uh, we're seeing Zero fight back a little bit. Now we're back in the corner. Oh, there we go. Goes for the grab off of it, too. You know, respect on the minus frames, I guess, coming out here. Zero trying to fight back out to the mid screen here. Hasn't seen the corner of their own. Gets caught up with the install, so it's a full pickup into the 2U off of the reversal. Back to the corner you go. Nice little change she got for this game and to add to the defensive options uh, pre-install is you can just rip that super and then yep. I think punish them if they spot dodge and get a get a combo if they if it hits. Um, I'm not going to say she needed it, but it, <laughs> it, it makes her base form like significantly more potent um, right. than it was in the last game. It is, it is a scary option, especially when your opponent, you know, sometimes is a little bit predictable about where they decide to put the gaps, you know, whether it's frame yeah. traps or just leaving these natural gaps in their pressure, but no meter for the install super. It's DP letting it rock. And finally, Sierra kind of getting the upper hand in game number two. And credit where credit's due, Sierra's 5L checks have been pretty solid so far. Um, yeah. That that 5L is like kind of the god button for Catalina. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, we got the we got the block. Okay, Ooh, actually out of the spot dodge that time. All right, never mind. There we go. Close L starter just to make sure you weren't sure how plus you were after the spot dodge. So just making sure you get all the corner carry in the world. Just jumps right over the throw, but can't get the punish. 
Oh, just gotta watch that air dash. Yeah, pitch. jump into it. Don't try to anti air. Oh, Ciro. Ciro's got the right read. Let's go. That wasn't a punish. Char just mashed. I did not realize that we didn't see the punish. Char was like, <laughs> mm, let's see. Let's mess around and find out real quick. Yeah, oh, Oof. yeah. Big whiff means that's, that's going to hurt. All right. Set it up. Spends the BC because you do not want to deal with the command grab setup, which was 1,000% coming. Mm -hmm. We get the counter BC sending us back in time. Plus frames up the end. Scarlet Oath. We are stuck in the corner once again. Doesn't even feel the need. To oh my god, please help me. There's no 5U. It's just the super to keep you locked down and off the Raging Strike. We're set point. Damn. All right. Char just needs one more. Oh, oh. oh, no. All right. Can't convert with medium there, unfortunately. But we are plus. So we're going to take that. Ooh. Yeah, picks up off of the 6XM with the Luminiera setup as well. 50% HP already down here for Sierra. Ooh, caught the backdash with the U Scarlet O2. Ha, all right. Wise to it that time. Interesting. Yeah, BC to BC right here. Char! Yeah. No. Oh, never mind. Char won. That's unfortunate. All right, we're going to punish that. Close heavy. No follow ups required. Char Char moving on to the next round here. 2 0. Oh, I think, you know, towards the end there in that final round, Sierra down on HP, a little bit of BP left in the tank. So we saw a little bit of that aggression, you know, the desperation saying, all right, yes. I tried to play footsies. I tried to be more passive. I constantly got pushed back into the corner every single time. I'm just going to run. I'm going to pull up. Let's see if I can get this one hit confirmed, but, you know, did not find the wish Punisher looking for and sent down into the loser side. But, hey, against Char Char, definitely one of the premier representatives of Vera over here in NA. How, you know, how sad can you really be sent down to losers by him? True. That's, uh, the Char, Char made top eight at or top 24 on winners, I think, at Frosty's. I can't remember. Char I had think, a... Oh, yeah. Really, really good run of Frosties. I can't remember exactly where that ended, but uh, I remember we got to cast him for top twenty-four. That's how I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I remember that. So that's right, that's right. Okay, okay, I do remember that now. Yeah, Char, Char had a hell of a weekend. Um, it was mad fun. Uh, oh, okay, all right. So speaking of East Coast talent, uh, another another cat that was at um crossover arc a few weeks ago, Gucci Blunt Rap, um, is going to be facing off against Lunar. Um, and as our streamer and to tonight noted uh yeah this is a this is a ul player so you're uh you're you're gonna get your main on koyo let's go yip yip i am extremely happy for that <laughs> yip yip is so good dude gucci blunt rap is such a good tag i'm not gonna lie to you that one himbo neutral and i feel like i need a third one to round out the grand blue like holy trinity of tags like hey, jiggle this physics hit, bro no, oh, no, that's not it. I don't no, know if I have what, the wait, heart to what? say that. I can like appreciate that one on the yeah. side. I'll give you, like the sly nod. That the was chuckle, uh, the chortle even, but that was a that was a blaze blue one we had a couple times. I can't, true, I can't remember what the character name was, but man, yeah. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Not um, just a blunt rap about a Gucci one. Yeah, the designer one. Rap. Designer Gucci blunt raps. All right, I'm so saying. let's let's talk for a second how actually awful that would be to smoke i feel like that i don't know i don't know if i'd be into that gang oh would it be like a leather blunt wrap oh never mind that would be yeah, awful bro that yeah. would not be a good time here but we're gonna have some good times with some more grand blue action again we got lunar versus gucci blunt wrap game number one game one and of course we are gonna see some kagliosha from lunar See what the uh, we'll see what the matchup awareness is. Gucci Blunt Rap's pretty good, um, and I'm assuming has gotten to play some games against Wavy, so uh, yeah, or has some of the knowledge. Oh yes, Ooh. we got the anti here into the side switch, no less. Let's go. Ooh, there we go, cashing out on so much damage as well. Gets the refund off the link. Still got 50 in the tank for this next hit. Yeah, great meter situation here. Gucci Blunt Rabs, but there's the turnaround for Lunar. Wall bounces me. We're going to get a little extension into the setup. Yeah, blocking the overhead and actually finding the mash out. That's unfortunate. That's That was a miss input right there. That was definitely yeah. supposed to be Cooper. Oh, no. Could have been able to kill. Now you got no VP for it. Stuck at the 150% damage multiplier. You are not going to live this one. And with the U Golden Throne, or the U Spike, rather, Lunar just barely brings it back off the miss input. No. 
hey, you know what? Props to Lunar for, for recognizing and able to get the punish for it, though. That's that's yeah. after battle, right? Like, damn. All right. It's a heartbreaker. Yeah, just because you drop doesn't mean it guarantees it for the opponent. You got to have that presence of mind. And, you know, Lunar definitely feeling a little good. Says, all right, rob the round back. Let's make it decisive going into round number two. Still fighting back here from Gucci, Gucci Blunt Rap. Yeah, Lunar's really good at getting the snowball game going when yeah. applicable. Um, but right now, all right, right now we're seeing, starting to see a little fight back. Get the reversal. Trying to navigate these traps. Yeah, there it is. All right, Raging Chain conversion right here. Don't think, yeah, not going to be super good carry. We're going to get a little mid-screen action. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah, tried to go for the BC, but unfortunately it's getting caught out here with the delay. On the other side, Lunar not quite able to kill, but you got a trap behind you taking some extra chip damage off the late throw attack. Oh, all right. But it's it's going to be the tick throw that takes it for uh, Gucci Blood Rap, a.k.a. Purple okay. Oasis. Oh, That's so I'm sure Shubu you know there. the lore on that one. Yeah, exactly. No, get I Murph, know. Get I, Shubu. I just know. I just know Shubu is a Oasis enjoyer. I don't know anything about the lore. I'll, oh, I'll explain in between the games here. But speaking <laughs> of right. trying to play for game number one. Oh, yeah. Just run up. You just barely had the 50 meter for the golden throne. But no, not able to get the momentum in the mid screen. Still trying to jump your way back on out. But off of the straight hit, you're not too sad here if you're Lunar, right? Only took a you know, pip of damage to try yeah. and escape. Yeah, now you're dealing out a hell of a lot more, too. One more setup's all it's going to take. Box it out. It, yeah, there it is. Paints out the anti-air attempt. Good stuff. Um, 100 ton weight on the golden throw. Okay, while we got a little bit of time, purple Uesis, right? Diaphone yeah. was watching Slashback. Saw that Shuobu put his tag as Uesis, you know, as a big fan. So yeah. Diaphone's like, all right, we got a little bit of downtime. Let's look up this character. He sees Uesis and goes, bro, this is just Blonde Ewell. Just play UL, bro. They're like the same person, and Twitter did not like that one. I'll tell that's you what, Murph I was not so a big pissed. Fan, so. So I that's was why so we got pissed. Purple Uesis. This. Purple Uesis right. is kind of getting your ass beat. I'm not going to lie to you. 50% HP already down. Oh, wow. Actually, spot dodged the uh, the hula hoop there, but wasn't able to get anything off of it. And now that's going to cost you. The trap Ooh. is still active, and Lunar puts themselves on set point right here. All right, let's see if we can try and bring this back. We brought it to the final round before, but I don't know. Lunar running away with the momentum right now off of the TP falling button. Damn, Pur Purple Uasis out here fighting for their life. Oh, no. <laughs> Far Heavy's going to hit. Ensuing jump in connects, and we are we are just partying here as Lunar. Yeah, get that hard knockdown. Safe jump. Side switch, text the throw, still has to deal with the trap, and that's dead right there. Gets the wall bounce, absolutely no meter required. Yui sisters, Yule sisters, it's not looking good. Lunar just too damn strong off of the game one momentum and sends Gucci Blunt Rap down into the loser's side. Damn, everyone make, everyone make sure to pour one out tonight. Um, 10 days before 420 for Gucci Blunt Rap. RIP. Do you think as we get closer and closer to 420, their power increases or they get too overconfident and they're like actually decrease, right? I don't know. It's they're, hard to say. I will, I'll listen to an argument either way. That's uh, that, that's about as far as I'll, I'll commit to in that argument. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? So we're, we're not going to have a WASD on 420. That being said, it does fall on a Saturday. So if Gucci Blunt Rap pulls up to a TNS, oh, Grand Blue, you know, on 420, we'll maybe see. it's like the Blood Moon and the stars just oh, like align. Yeah. And they're at 200%. But either way, they're going to be making their way over through the loser's side. And let me check on over to the bracket, which you guys can check out as well with exclamation point bracket over there in the chat. And let's see who we got next up for these. Uh, are we doing top 24 qualifiers now? Hold up. No, not quite. We are we are real close to that. But uh, okay. I think we're in round three still. Yeah, uh, this is the last one for round three. And then we'll be hitting into uh, qualifiers. All right. And I see who we got up next. It's yeah. the homies Yozamitsu versus Gaba Ghoul. So Yozamitsu, I've seen in, in chat a ton, but I, I'm forgetting who they actually play. Gaba Ghoul, one of the uh, Ladiva homies uh, coming through from Canada as well. So definitely yeah. uh, a big Ladiva representative pulling up here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, pretty good showing at Crossover Arc. Um, yeah. Yozamitsu... I'm trying to remember. They, I, I've seen them on stream before, uh, and they were yeah. pretty solid. They made a run last time, but I, I am totally blanking on character selection as well. 
Um, but yeah, like you said, Gabagool gonna be on that Ladiva. Um, very, very like patient when when needing to Ladiva too. Um, oh, okay, yeah. so it's gonna be Narmaya. This is ah, this oh. is actually gonna be an interesting matchup. Um, Narmaya's got a lot of really good uh, buttons and special moves to keep Ladiva out, um, as well as like kind of navigate the screen with some of like the ultimate aerial options, as well as like the mm -hmm. the teleport that side switches. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see how this, this pans out. Yeah, we definitely have ways to be, you know, tricky with how we play the keep out. Like you're saying, right? You know, we have the sets in us and we have some good buttons to try and play the, the standard active keep away and then the dashes and the ultimate flips to try and switch it up on Gabagool with the momentum. But Gabagool has a really strong Narmaya training partner in Witch Hazel, right? So I'm wondering yes. how we're going to try and swap that up here. Yeah, that that is the key right here. Um, Gabagool's gonna have to get the uh, try to get in uh, Yosumitsu's head early. I think we'll see. It's the side switch off the jump in, um, and it's gonna be the brave counter saying, "I am getting out of there." It's definitely the right choice in my opinion. Oh Ooh. no! Aww. Ultimate skill off the clash. It's the lariat. That's a full combo in the corner. Absolutely. Damn, I like the idea from Yoza trying to spot dodge through the second hit of the clash, but immediately yeah. Gabagool just going for the ult lariat stuck up against the wall. All the raging strikes in the world. We're looking for the super confirm. Show the love to kill. Wow, that is a drop kick. That's round number one. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Gabagool. Already got one on the board. Pretty convincingly. Um, had to, had to play some nooch, but you know, definitely definitely got the read so far. Oh, two hits and we're in the corner. Oh my god. Yeah, that previous round we were seeing Yozumitsu play a little bit more aggressive, waiting, or, uh, you know, trying to press the advantage before Gabagool had any of that meter, but, you know, playing a little bit more passive now. Plus frames off the run up flip. Ooh, yeah, playing it safe so far. Oh no, the jump in. This is going to be a problem. Ready with the ant here. Yozumitsu able to get a good chunk of damage into the meaty 5L. Ooh, the cross up's gonna connect. This could be bad. No, no, needs to reset for, to kill. Oh, there we go. Got the pickup off of it, too. I think you're a little too far for the cinematic, but it's all good. At least you got the BP back, evened out the Brave Point yeah. situation. Now we just need a couple stray hits. 50 seconds, too. Oh, no, we're just going right in. Never mind. BC, get out, get off. Okay, I like the use of the Stick 6L spot dodge trying to bait out the BC and also trying to bait out the reversal SSBA attempt, but still able to keep Gabagool locked down. Just barely the scramble at the end ties up the rounds. All right. We'll chomp immediate EXDP. Oh, all right. Caught by the frame trap. And now we're stuck in the corner and it's 6-6 six, six L. Still able to get the full conversion off that. Uh, reset. No, going for the crumple ender. I like it. Yeah. Go get the link. Refund a little bit of that meter. I see the Canada crew pulling up to cheer on Gavagool as he's yeah. stuck in the corner, but I know he's waiting for that 100 meter, looking for the SSBA. We've seen him come back from worse. Yeah, we most certainly have. Um, it's going to have to come back from this, though, and that might not be possible. We are quickly approaching super damage. This might be a sliver, but it's going to be very close. No, it's enough. Yozumitsu takes the first game with a Twitter combo to close it out. Dude. Clean off the super, optimized with the corner routing. I also thought we were going to live with the sliver of health, right? Especially with the Lediva health pool, but still Yoza seals it out for game number one. Immediately lets the 2U rock from Gabagool. A really tech in the throw. Jump in, gets smoked by the anti-air again. Okay. Yoza Mitsu first taking out Uber and now having uh, put, putting Gabagool on the back foot. This is uh, what the night they're having so far. Wait, you're right. I did not realize their previous match was against Uber, right? You know, yeah. Uber, Gabagool, good homies in the Ladiva crew. So I think you're already warmed up That's to the really matchup sad. already. Let the SSBA rock on the other side. That's evil. Yeah, you have to, I believe you have to be holding up on Wake Up yeah. there. And I, I don't even know if that works, to be perfectly honest. That's a, that is an evil setup. But hey, you know what? You're down a game. You got to make it happen. You got to pull out all the stops. Dude, that's evil. I saw a collage of reactions to that reset from Gabagool earlier today. I didn't think we'd be seeing it on stream, but we're seeing some fight in Gabagool's eyes right now. Let that LSBD rock. Yeah, Gabagool's always fighting back. Oh, no. Pressing a little too hard right here. Ooh. But the Raging Strike connects clean. And spot dodge right back in the corner. All right, There's so much spaghetti right now. Move. Dropped off the far L. All good. 
go. Gabagool one hit away here. No diamonds. Needs to spend the super. There's the SSBA. So reversal attempt. Oh, try to land a regular throw, I think. Or even just a stray hit, and it will kill Raw. Yeah, Gavagul <gasps> playing a little bit more passive, stuck down in the corner, just trying to use the threat of the SSBA to try and find any opportunity. But Yoza Mitsu just leaning into the frame traps at set point. Feels bad dying there, but man, it's you you, you got a round buffer. You still got a chance. Anti aired again. <laughs> Able to get the punish on the whiff's conversion, though. Yeah. Ooh. There we go off the counter hit. Keep it clean. Just spend the BP. You're like, all right, I'm not dropping two times in one game. Oh, good. Go for the run up. Ultimate headbutt. BC. All right, we're starting to spend it quite a bit. Resources are beginning to dwindle. There's the 2A check. Ooh, back throw into the corner. This is huge. Oh, spot dodge on the wake up. That was unfortunate. You missed the close age meaty, but even worse, getting lariated up into the corner. Gava Ghoul brings it back and ties up the set 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. Yo, ghouls, ghouls in the chat, gang. I don't know. Is that, is that what the kids are saying these days? Either way, that was sick. The Gava Goons really are pulled up. I see the chat go crazy every time Gava pulls up to the stand, but I'm sure we got some Yoza fans as well fighting for their lives here in this final game up against the wall once again. Yeah, Yosemitsu's played a really good game so far. Finally seeing the two of you to get out. Looks like checking the Brave counter attempt. Came out as a raging strike. <laughs> the anti-air ultimate grab. Oh, oh no, it, into the it, chop, too. The close age, but we dropped the conversion a little bit. Still, Gabagool so ahead on the BP. Right, send the sets in a walk up close aids just trying to get any attempt for you to swing back out just barely out of range of the lariat so it's a full confirm for yoza yeah i was gonna say we're gonna see the super right here combo right into that piece this is throw range especially down that diamond right there down two yeah but the worst part for yoza right it's throw range as well for gabagool if you get the reversal ssba but looking too hard at the reversal super just allows us to ult lariat back out of the corner we're swapped up on the sides back up against the wall there it is <laughs> okay lance the punish yeah miss face that dashing m right there so it is absolutely punishable gets yep. a perfect range on the 2m able to get the ultimate skill conversion good stuff from gabagool step point <laughs> Oh my god, the walk up to make the 6-6M unsafe, the scoop on the dash. Zubitsu falling apart right now, but finds a throw. Oh my goodness, we are mashing tonight, gang, and you love to see a Gabagool. Wow, that was almost corner to corner. Oof. Oh, it doesn't quite get the pick up, the M slashes, you didn't hit confirm. So now it's a full confirm for Gabagool up against the wall. One more touch, you got the 100 meter behind it to kill. Yeah, raw super Ooh. kills here, but there's, oh my goodness. This could be trouble. Side switch connects. Yozumitsu has pretty much no health right here, and that should do it. Zero diamonds in the house means that is going to do a little bit extra damage. And Gaba Ghoul able to bring it back again, dude. Again. This dude gets away with it all. Nah, well played for real. That was uh, that, that was some very impressive Lativa play. All jokes, yeah. uh, all jokes aside. Yeah, we were seeing a lot of these crucial 2M into ult lariats to be able to seal it out in those last two rounds, right? Yoza yeah. just barely getting the spacing, uh, you know, a little bit incorrect, but also the walk forwards, you know, Gabagool getting an idea of, you know, what you're looking for, walk right forward to put you right in that punishable range, and especially when you have a decent amount of health behind it, you're not too afraid of taking a little bit of damage, you know, getting your, your walk forward caught up by 6XM. It's all good. You're stuck out here in the mid screen. You might as well try and push your advantage, but damn. That is how it goes. And Gabagool is going to be moving on to a top 24 qualifier against Zerom. Against Zerom, too. Yeah. Oh, no. Gabagool. Well, it'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you got to play Charlotte players to get out of pools. Yeah. Um, and, and that's just how it goes. Uh, and I believe we have a couple of our first top eight qualifiers. Graf um, took a 2-1 over Riley uh, Ooh, to okay. move on to top 24. We're going to see... Uh, Witch Hazel versus Inspector on stream to make it to the top 24 a bit later. Um, okay. Chuck uh, is going to play Kilo. Um, I think next we're going to have Lazy Rain versus Hubert, which is also a top eight qualifier. Does that mean Senpai hey. Spider is no longer with us in Winterside? Wait a minute. You're right. Because oh, where did he end up going? Oh, so Senpai Spider actually ended up getting sent to the loser's side off of their first match to Oda Lazy Ruin. So they are fighting their way over through losers right now. 
Oh no, and got sent out. So Professor Necotech takes it to no. by Spider to make it into loser's side top 24. Ooh. When the last time we went, we met, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. That's what, what I'm saying. That's what Neko Tech said to said to Senpai for sure, hundred yeah. percent. Especially with the swap up, you know, we've been seeing a lot of two B coming out from Senpai Spider, which you know definitely an interesting swap up. But you know, with the skill gauge reduction, not able to get quite as much off of some of these setups. But yeah, Senpai Spider out just barely before top twenty four. But like you said, we're moving on to these winner side top twenty four qualifiers. We got Lazy Ruin versus Hubert the Near versus Belial. Listen, before we get into that, we just got to get something yeah. clear. No, no, no to be downplay on the stream. We can't do that today. You're right. You're right. She's still kind of, <laughs> that that 5M is still the 5M. I'll tell you what, bro. I'm saying, bro this, that character, that character is still fine. Don't worry, gang. I'm uh, saying. <laughs> all right. We should be good to get into it. It looks like it's going to be Lazy Ruin versus Hubert near versus Belio. This is a matchup we've seen a few times. Um, I feel like we saw Aaron DeMack have to play this matchup at Frosty's, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Probably, probably a few times. Probably a few times. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of few, before we get into the match, we got a few more codes for you guys to claim as we wait for this top 24 qualifier. Once again, Lazy Ruin versus Hubert. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh, 66L still as strong as ever. Able to get the 2M yep. conversion after. DP, the new change from near. You'll notice no conversion off that. So, I don't know. Honestly, like, this character's still really good, but this character feels significantly better to fight against. Like... When yeah, I'm wrong, I'm wrong now. You feel me? Yep. Her offense is still incredible, right? A lot of the setups, you know, unchanged. In the neutral, the 2 and 4 you, the uh, ultimate death turn, not quite able to skip your turn quite as well. But especially the big thing, like you're saying, right, is the defense. We can't just let the yeah. DP rock here and then uh, try and make our way on out. But we are going to spend the BC. 100 meter available. SSB Ooh. is well caught up with a cross up. Oh, got caught in 4K, not using the block button. Unfortunate yep. right there. Um, spending the Ooh. last of it doesn't need any more diamonds, thankfully, because pretty much auto combo into anything kills there. Yep. The jump in stole the momentum, but the jump in from Hubert stole it right back. A counter hit 2H is a great start to round number two. We got the new Bombos, too. Let's get it. Let's get it, Hubert. Uh -huh. Ooh, Hubert, okay, uh... a little too well action. On the on the six for a long time, but uh, start started to play a little Belial, and I'm kind of here for it. This character is still so sick. Yeah, rocking the red too. Definitely a uh, a strong showing going on right now. But damn, we get side swap off of the claws. Double swap Vampire Belial is quite really strong. Saying, oh, we bro. got the, the crouch conversion too here. This no, I super wouldn't have quite killed there. And there's the counter SSBA. This is gonna do a massive amount of damage, and I believe give near a little mix-up action after. Yeah, just keep it a plus. Ooh, okay, five U, not able to get anything going. Ooh, this is still so close. Scary. I like the air stall with the JU. Who took it? It's Hubert with the close L, just barely in that last hit scramble. And you saw the raging strike there. I'm wondering if that was a preemptive brave counter attempt, or yeah. if Bro was just like, you know what, we're just gonna go for it. I'm just, I'm just making plays right now. Making our way back out to the mid screen, send the pinwheel, try and run up behind it, but challenge on the 6XL. Okay. Mm. Awkward use of the uh, <laughs> the meter there, and now death's in. Go in, brother. Hubert, close the distance. I don't know. Do it. Ooh. Closing the distance indeed once again. The jump in not going to be checked here by Lazy Ruin. Oh, and that TP not punished there from uh, from Hubert. That's unfortunate. And now you're, you're going to pay for that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's death. No, not quite. Chip is a factor. And yeah, you you have to be careful out of that. And this version, Belial gets uh, bro and I think stop ultimate if you have the meter there. Um, yeah. Slightly, slightly less risky in terms of just throwing that out Engage. all right round on the board here for lazy ruin again not finding the anti-air from hubert off of the super jump lets you start the pressure early all right crouch confirm once again we got the corner variety oh yo that's so sick i always forget that works like that get the yeah. get the two links into the full auto combo and you still get super yeah hell yeah Character stick. Oh my god, we cashed out in a lot of damage. No armor here. Just gonna grab right on through the UDP. Ooh, plus no. on whip for the perfect evil, evil Hubert. Just a tiny bit of misspacing here, but 
playing on the reactions at set point. Bro, bro hit him with the high five and took around. That was crazy. All right, check a death this time. Able to get the plus frames off that EX Goisha. Ooh, yeah, now we're checking death. That's what I want to see. Ooh. Check that, but still eating a lot of damage for trying to challenge afterwards. The jump in, the air to air from Lazy Ruin got a lot here. Waiting for death to come back up. This is set point for Huber, but Lazy Ruin has the life lead. Yeah, a little wary of that. Still just goes to the throw punish. Oh, big DP bait. No, doesn't Ooh, get no punished. J2, that, that could be extremely impactful here. Yeah, exactly. You missed the opportunity to kill Huber. It's still set point. Just waiting for that 100 to come back up. We're slowly approaching. It's not quite SSBA range, though. Hubert's got a lot of health to work through, and Lazy Ruin's not going to give you the chance. Raging Chain brings us to game number three. Ah, that was a hard position, right? Um, yeah. Sit, they're sitting in a life deficit, so even though Huber was playing a successful zoning game, like, just, yeah. just couldn't get a hit off of it. Tumbled over to the full screen once again. Vacuum for the pull-up. Oh. Caught on the other side. On 4K, now using the block button again. Damn. Yeah. Doesn't bite on the frame trap, so yep, we're uh, yeah, there it is. That's that's uh, I don't I don't know if that's a safe option, but right now that was the one that worked. And lazy ruin going from down bad to set point. And for the reverse sweep right now, immediately sends out the H death turn. Says, all right, if you're gonna walk back, let me catch you. On the approach back throw though. Yeah, try to get that positioning. I like it. Edge yeah. of DP connects. Still puts near in a pretty good position right here. Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Ooh. That looked like a little bit of a miss input right there. Um, either way, we're going to get a little scramble action. We were finally able to get a little conversion going here to secure the corner again. Oh, my God. It was somebody swapped up sides in the corner. But speaking of, we get the run out. 236M. Now it's guess for game. Any of these next hits, you have all the resources in the world to confirm. Plus, with the chip damage off of the BC, a throw can kill too, but we find the ultimate parry. Whoa! Steals the corner, no. but you're still minus on hit right there. If you, if you don't have death to cover it, like you can't get anything off of it. Hubert still somehow alive. We are in final game, final round. Yeah, I love the run up with close L. Made you think you had to hold on to that down back, but just waiting yeah. for the frame kill throw. Like you said, final round and caught off of the pinwheel close L. Hubert taking a, a first big hit right here. This is going to do a good chunk of damage, build a ton of meter. Yeah, this puts him in a great spot. Frame trap off the DP. Ooh. I don't with the ultimate claws, though. Back out to the mid screen. You don't have enough for another Raging Chain, but that's all good. We get the 236M. No, but it's all good. We got EXDP right through. Ooh. Wow, the, the what was that? Two two L follow, but looked like I my goodness, so, yeah. that, that was so delayed. I did not think that was coming out. Good yeah, stuff. And lazy good. ruin able to win the round off the back of that, burning all the brave points. Um, had had nothing left in the tank right there. Just had to win neutral and did it in in kind of spectacular fashion. That was impressive. Exactly. Spent all the resources. You got to go on the aggressive. Hubert so close to taking it back. But especially when you're that behind, right? All you need, like you said, is that one hit. You had the stocks to seal it out. And Lazy Ruin moving on to winner's side top 24. Very, very impressive near play. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how they compete in top 24. Um, but yeah. until we uh, get too deep into that, I believe our next game is going to be Witch Hazel versus Inspector. Um, Ooh. Oh, so, yeah. We, we we talked about we 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 alluded to Witch Hazel earlier when Gobble Ghoul yeah. was playing. But we're going to get the real deal right now. Um, yep, uh, yep. Inspector, but before we get to that, I do want to mention we still do have a match for Reno. Do want to shout that out a little bit more. There's still codes. Please do claim them. Uh, everything matters if we can get. To 150, we can get top four payout, pay out even more players. So please do get to that number, and I'll let you guys continue. Hell yeah. Make sure to claim those codes, guys. We were at uh, 37 just a little bit ago, so I see you guys claiming those codes slowly but steadily. But honestly, there's so now. many of you. 
Oh, hell yeah. yeah. There's so many of you guys in the chat. I think before we even head to top 24, I think we could clear the remaining 20. So make sure to stop on by. It's free money over to the prize pool with only three clicks. You log in with the social media. You got to open the Macharino first, and then you hit that claim coupon over in the top right of the screen for a free 25 cents. So why not? Well, we got a little bit of downtime. Yeah. Yeah, get in there, hit that. Um, inspe oh, hello. Inspectors on the Percy. Wait. So yeah. I was going to say, as we mentioned yeah. in the beginning of the stream, right? We were like, oh, Witch Hazel is pulled up. But she told us before that she was going to be rocking the Percy throughout the bracket, right? But, you know, we know her for the Narmaya. And we were like, hmm, who is Inspector going to be pulling up with for this winner's side top 24 qualifier? And it looks like we're going to be seeing the Lord of Flames mirror match themselves. Yeah. Uh, I'll be curious to see if, if Witch Hazel does commit to the mirror um, or even yeah. if Inspector does commit to the mirror because this there there could be uh some memory afoot right. um we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see i'm not gonna i'm not gonna commit to that either way this could be a a, a serious percival mirror we're about to see but exactly. you know we'll we'll see in a minute i'm not gonna stress about that i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna claim another match arena code you know hell yeah Make sure to stop on by. And if you guys have claimed that match arena code as well i'm sure you know you saw some vods you saw some highlights from crossover arc you're like damn a lot of those, a uh, lot of those mugs, a lot of the drip, a lot of the apparel was so sick. You guys can still grab some of your own if you stop by the shop. We got Impurist Dot Club for you guys to get some W A S D drip. But right into the action, it looks like we are going to be seeing the Percival Mirror once again. Another top twenty-four qualifier, alternating the arts here. We got Witch Hazel versus. I'm already forgetting the other time. Inspector. Inspector. <laughs> Just remember, inspect the deck every time, and you'll never there forget Inspector's name. Exactly. It's terrible advice. I'm sorry. I can't even say Witch Hazel Blue because Inspector is also in the blue, right? We got Witch Hazel, I guess, in like the neon PS4 colors. And then also Inspector kind of rocking the uh, the white and blue here. But we're swapping up the sides, fighting for this knockdown in the mid screen. We are traded sweeps to the chances right here. Yeah, this is this is Percival at a pace. We don't usually see. Uh man, we're we're ripping everything right here. All the stance cancels. All the DPs, well, all the ultimate skills, apparently. Let's go. Feeling a couple stocks right here. Still minus on that uh, that stab right there, I believe, but you're not getting punished at that range. Yep. Ooh. Okay, go, go for the quick little low check. Dash on through for the close sell. Yeah, we saw so many attempts at the throw tech as well. So Hazel getting caught out here in the corner. Super doesn't quite kill. All right. This is throw range, though. Steals the L stock, and there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Mala, you you would pull up right in time for the Percy mirror. Let's go. What's good? This uh, oh. you know, it is it is an explosive matchup we got going on here. It's easy to say, oh, you know, Percival going into a matchup against you know any other character, trying to play it slow, looking for opportunities to get these stocks right. But in the mirror, we are we are definitely scrambling. Yeah, we're just, we're pressing right now. We we got big buttons and we're we're slapping them at every range we can. It's it's a lot, but I'm like kind of here for it right now. Oh, all right. Not able to get anything off of it, but fade away far heavy is going to get inspector some pretty decent screen position here. Wow, what an option right there. That is not invincible. That was that was just saying, nah, you ain't gonna do it. There you go. At least we crossed up out of the corner. No BP behind it either. Wish Hazel 50 meter, but didn't even need it off of the raging strike reaction check. No, you had to go for spot dodger. You're dead. Man, I, I, I forgot. I, I actually do enjoy watching this mirror. It's utter chaos. Yep. <laughs> you see one of them stalk up at the full screen. They're like, oh, hell yeah, me too. Guys, you're looking for these orbs. Oh. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to use ever going after that, too. DP. Yeah. Put your butt right back at the corner, plus frames off the ultimate fireball, the carpet. Spending everything right here. Oh, the cross up. This might. No, you're dead. You are 1,000% dead. Oh my goodness. I uh, Bro, I neglected to uh, realize what what a what a decent starter that was. Game one going to Witch Hazel. I was unaware of your game. We saw that uh, that jump in. I feel like the height that we. You know, the height and distance we did it at, it was pretty ambiguous uh, which side we were on, but either way, like you said, Hazel takes the first game here. Linebacker tackle with the MDP right through. Mmm, once again. 
Dab, yeah, counter hit of the uh, the L follow up on the on the command dash. That that option right there, that's that's the classic like check it, mix it up with empty into like either buttons or a throw. Yep. You're gonna see that a lot more. And this is yeah, starting to slow down a little bit. Hazel Fine spending all the BP. Yes, you have all the uh, BP in the world for Raging Strikes into Super, but I don't know. You got a decent amount of health. Uh, you know, as I say that, we are whittling <laughs> very quickly through Hazel's HP, especially with backup against the wall here. No, but we're yeah. going to go for Old Fireball to win the Projectile Wars. Which Hazel spending everything right now. Four stocks, Ooh. but it's not going to matter. Cancel in to the EX Rust. Spectre staying alive. Yep, sword behind the back. Tried to poke out here at the round start. All right. Tuel's going to uh, open Inspector up right here. Corner. Ooh. Yeah, not quite going to find the anti air there. Maybe a miss input, but no check on the jump in. Oh, awkward little fuzzy mash right there. Not going to yeah. take a ton of it. Both players respecting the helm splitter. And there's the baited DP from Witch Hazel. Inspector yeah. should be able to get a good chunk off this. Taking the carry into the overhead. Uh oh. Oops. Poking on through ultimate flames. Yeah, you're plus, but you're a little bit too far out. You have a lot of health to work through for Inspector, so catches out the back dash. All you need is a 2L or a 2M. Now we're tied indeed. up. One apiece. One apiece indeed. Ah, uh, Inspector's starting to catch on to the to the rhythm of which is all look like disrupting some of this defense. Um see what the adjustment is, but but they're both committed to playing this out as Percival till the end. We all oh, classic in the bank. Yeah. No anti air. Still respecting that helm splitter, that uh, that JU. Yep. Lock it out. Late throw attack. Yep. Counter hit close heavy. This is gonna be some good damage. We could spend the the fifty on that that new move that just got buffed, but no, we're gonna we're just gonna take this. Reset. Oh what? Oh, you tried to go for the uh, for the brave counter, but ends up no punish on the full raging strike. We're just gonna go straight on through. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Neutral jumped a little too early there, and Inspector was able to react and actually get the punish on the fall. Yeah, One more hit. Oh no, which is jump. Chip damage could do it. I think you're in that range. One touch either way off the six six L. Which Hazel holding on by a thread. That was a little too close for comfort. And this is set point for Witch Hazel. Inspector just, just needs two more. All right, send it up against the wall. Command dash catches out a potential throw tech attempt. <laughs> oh, not out, no challenge immediately. Yeah, yeah, you got to be ready for that one. Ultimate DP, letting the whole thing out right here. Just staggers. That earns you a back throw into mid-screen. Ugh. Yeah, let's get the corner for the 50 once again. Frame trap off the dash. Okay. Of the PC. Still got the dodge. plus mix. Finds the spot dodge. No, but it's not enough to kill for Inspector just yet. All right, Witch Hazel once again hanging on by a thread. Yeah, holds in the whole thing. Get that little bit of extra damage. All right, mm -hmm. both of both of personal scoopers to like charge up. Not gonna be like a ton of damage here, but it takes away both BPs with punish. Oh my goodness! All right, that's the exact same setup we saw Inspector win that last game on. Witch yep. Hazel just nailed the timing right there. Run up back dash, and instead of getting caught by the two L, able to get the whiff punish, and that's gonna do it. Wow, that like, hell of a finish there from Witch Hazel. Backdash 2M, you had to play perfect. Anything would kill off of the chip damage, but Witch Hazel, like you said, sealing her spot into winner's top 24, not with the Narmaya, but with the Percy. With the Percy. <laughs> Wavy, I hate this mirror. Yeah, I remember Tega saying the not same thing. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, there was, I don't remember what tournament it was, or it might have even been casuals, but like, Tega played like, um, I don't remember who it was, um, Viram, I think, in the in the mirror. And said, "Yeah, I'm. I'm. That's that's Lance from now on. I'm never doing that again." <laughs> said, "Hell no, I'm good oh, off this no. mirror, dog. I'm good. Yeah, make Virum proud. So true." 
Oh, all right. So next up, we're going to have MBK versus Rusty Dusty. That means we're getting more Catalina. Uh, MBK, of course, uh, on the Belial, um, went, went yeah. through went through the full cycle of characters. I think I had every character to Masters. Um, really, really solid player for Vanilla, but but yeah. back to uh, Old Faithful here with Belial. And I, I think that's a, that's a perfectly fine choice. You know what I mean? This character is still quite strong. Yeah, he's solid. No no real weaknesses that we got going on here, right? Just solid toolkit all around. Waiting on into it. We got Rusty heading up with the Catalina here for another top 24 qualifier. This might even be our last uh, I think so. top 24 qualifier if my, uh, if my eyes don't deceive me. Yeah, this is the last one. Oh, perfect. Right. Thank you. Sounds good. Game number one, Rusty heading on into it. The back-to-back Oomphies -back fighting for their spots in top 24. But I don't know, like you said, Lennox, MBK just such a solid Grand Blue player since the vanilla version of the game. So it's going to be an uphill battle. Let's see if the Catalina's enough. Wow. Okay. Back throw. Chronically out of the corner, but that's okay. Still able to maintain the position right here. Rusty, yo, able to punish the whiff throw. A little too far for the Ju to connect cross up, and I'm not sure what was going for there. I think trying to power through that fireball, but MBK is going to spend the spend the diamond right here, get a little extra carry off this. Ooh, tried to make something out with the run up back dash, but nothing found. All good. We got the two M pickup. You got SSBA behind it too. MBK for the full spend should be able to kill here with the super. Ooh. Wow. All right. That's going to do it for round one. MBK taking the early lead in this set. We'll see if Dusty can keep the fight up. MBK, one of those cats that's going to key into your rhythm real quick. So you got to switch it up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there we go. A little clash on the 6XM. Able to get you a soft knockdown. A little bit of corner carry as well. We're just sending out the pinwheel and with the spin caught out after. Mm. All right. Very nearly hit the whiff punish right now. I'm not sure what that caught, but we're going to take it. Weep into the setup. Yeah, just take the throw. Nice and easy. No need to force it. Now we're going to take the big damage. Yeah, caught off the walk back. I don't think we quite build up the 100 meter behind it, but we still got rage. Nope. Okay. Yeah, funny little setup right there. <laughs> um, I think you can mix that up with MDP for the meaty, uh, but see. you might be able to blow that up with DP, so don't, don't quote me on that. Okay, okay. Either way, blown up here for game number one. It was so strong for uh, Rusty in that first round. Still, yeah. when MBK was able to bring it back, like you said, right? So strong in the download, just not letting it go. Game number two, let's see if Rusty's able to swap that back up. Plays good footsies, too, you know what I mean? Like, this is this is what you need to do if you're Dusty, is you need to get the first hit, and you need to get MBK into the corner ASAP, and use your resources to keep them there. Yeah, see? This is what I'm saying. Like, you're you're BP list now, and that's, that's a rough spot. Never mind, you're dead. Forget all the advice I just said. It's <laughs> over. It's your life bar. Goodbye. I take it back. It's not looking good. You're about to build a hundred behind it as well. So MBK really only needs a stray hit into super. I was so enough. sure that was going to kill. <laughs> Me too. Send the super. It's the full block. You fought for your life, but MBK on set point. Damn. And just the, just the flick close L right there. Just the, I, I know you have one HP. I'm not doing anything fancy. Exactly. That's all I need. Make sure we don't drop any of these punishes here. Tries to go for the veil, but nothing found. Mm. All right, we'll take the tech right there. Yeah. Oh, no, but loses to the, the quarter screen carrying uh, Belial to you. Yep. Well, there you go. Nice little pickup off the uh, old icicle. Able to get the stand conversion with the EX Goisha. Uh, okay, choosing to go for strike this time. And we're, yeah, we're going to keep this as simple as possible. MBK, like, understandably want to play this safe right now. Ooh, tried to go for the spot dodge, caught out with 5HH. It's not looking good for Rusty right now. Not a lot of health. Any hit into the super kills, especially with only one VP left. That's one brave counter. You're dead. That's it. Say goodbye. Oh, my goodness. It's su it's such a strong option. If you if you see your opponent throw something out and you're not sure exactly how you want to get that punish, throw it like a 2L or a 5L and just... Link Raging Strike makes that conversion so much easier. And especially at that level of health, MBK is like, yeah, we're not doing anything fancy. I am a thousand percent sure this will kill you.
All you need is that one last hit, so all is well for MBK to seal out their spot into the winner's side top 24. But, of course, the way we got this bracket set up, Rusty is still chilling in the loser's side of top 24 as well. So one more opportunity to fight for their life. But Lennox, if I'm not mistaken, that was our last top 24 qualifier, right? You are correct. Top okay. 24 winner side is solidified. It looks like most of the loser side is too. Let's go. Um, okay. We're going to have Zeram, Kilo, Graf, Witch Hazel, Coach Steve versus MBK, and Lazy Ruin versus Fuselet on stream. Um, I will say in that order ish. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 it depends uh, I'm like that. on where we're going, but uh, yeah. we might be taking a quick break here unless we're going to yes. play this out. We're, we What's are going to oh, be okay. taking a quick five-minute break just to let both you and Jaitsu uh, get some water, rest up your voice a little bit. We will be back in just a bit, but please, please do claim some Matrino codes while we're gone. For now, we will see you in just a bit. BRB.
Mm. All right. Hello, everybody. We are back. So, Hi. We are going to be continuing <laughs> What's good there, gamers? on. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. We'll be continuing on with our top 24. Um, I'm going to pull yeah. up our gamers. We do have Zeram and Kilo up first. Um, while we get those two in here, please do head on over to the match arena once again. We still have codes. Please get those claimed. I, I I love it when the codes go down. It's like jingling keys in front of me. It's like peak at this point. So please <laughs> do get those codes done. Um, yeah. Get her done. I'll let get you two done. talk about this matchup. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. Oh God, Zerum's uh, Zerum's the little demon child, and uh -huh. um, Kilo's the other little demon child, I believe, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, this yeah. is going to be Charlotta versus Nier. Yep. So, you know, not a not a ton of changes character specific wise for Charlotta, right? But obviously, one of the big things is going to be, oh, okay, now when I'm getting hit by near DP. Yeah, I'm still eating a little bit of damage here, but I'm not getting the full combo into side swap that we that we used to get. So definitely a Thank little God. bit easier playing the offense. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it I don't know. It was funny. I was playing online the other day, and I was playing against yeah. Nier, and I'm like, that's crazy. I'm not miserable right now. Like like this is <laughs> this is a difficult matchup. Like I have to yeah. I have to put my thinking cap on. Yeah. Um, but I'm not miserable now. Like I can I can sit back and like enjoy the fun parts of this matchup, which is like yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's rare you get patches like that in fighting games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you're like, so. life is good. Nature is healing. You're like, yeah. oh, I still got to be able to, you know, challenge on death. Oh, okay, when am I trying to throw out the 5L or 4L to try and take out death? And when am I just going to hold back and yeah. be like, all right, maybe I'm good. I'm not trying to yeah, get franchised for 50, 60% of my life. But apparently we are trying to swap up the characters real quick. It is no longer the near. I'm seeing us loaded in with the Belial on the stand here coming out from Kilo. Uh, the old old Beliable, as we call him. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, Kilo Kilo has a really good bullet Belial. Um, played played a lot of Gran and a lot of Belial in uh, in vanilla, um, making several top eights offline with uh, oh, yeah. with Belial, if I remember correctly. Um, right. So I'm I'm really excited to see him back on this character. It's been a minute. All right, back on into it. Our first winner's side of the top 24 here. Send out the pinwheel. Caught up with the follow-up, but still only a little bit of straight damage here in the mid-screen. This is a matchup that traditionally Zerom, at least in like earlier versions of Grand Blue, has had the upper hand in. But lately, Zerom has been looking unstoppable to even the best players in North America. Yep. Okay, hey, jump in. EX grab. All right, taking the plus frames and challenging after. Oh, Kilo. Might have hit a little high, actually. Not 100% sure. Going for the jump over that time. Kilo's still ready for it, though. All right. Loving the active defense right here. 5H, 5H. BC out here from Zero, putting us at range to challenge with the ball. Oh, Perry does put you uh, awkwardly in the corner here, but we jump back out. Wow, good whiff punish on the uh, the miss spot dodge right here. Going to get the stagger. This might actually kill. I stand corrected. This is 100% going to kill. There's no possible way this doesn't. All right, there we go. Well, that's See, I made an ironic there, strike so. into the super. We That fella is dying, dying. Oh, oh, okay. H follow up on the Goisha is going to uh, get, get a straight hit for Kilo, but... Ultimately going to lose the scramble. Never mind. Get, finds the way out of the corner. No 2-H. And Charlotta jumping. Yeah, such an awkward jump arc as well. But Kilo is still able to find a pickup here with the Goisha once again. Ooh. Big 2-H. Yeah, finally reacting to that. If you're if you're really sick with the re uh, reflexes, you can do that. It's a little dicey, but Kilo, yeah. Kilo got those young man reactions. Yeah, you really got to be able to, you know, react to some pretty similar looking stimulus, right? You know, the the yeah. leap and the ball can look a little similar. If you twitch reaction, you get counter hit by it. But speaking of taking a lot of damage here from the super, it doesn't even need to dodge on the raging strike. The full hit kills. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think I think I counter hit by something right there. Uh, we got we got yeah. the pop off off the single hit, um, which doesn't usually happen on block, but. Hard to know for sure without seeing the replay. And either way, we are tied up 
here in game one with one round apiece. Here I'm off to an early lead, and that's no, not a big hit. Oh, did oh, didn't have shot a lot of ball. Oh, I see you waiting for the cooldown here, but it's all good. We got that thousand sword slashes. Once again, some more BP behind him. We go straight into the super. And that's game number one for Zero. I'm all right. The first couple of rounds, a lot more back and forth. Scrambles in the mid screen, trying to fight for the screen position. Then all of a sudden, round number three, Zeram has you up against the wall and you are dead. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty typical of what we've seen from Zeram over the years. Yeah. For sure. Um, still stuck at the corner right here, eating the EX command throw. We've seen uh, Zeram be pretty uh, up forward happy so far tonight. Um, and, and Kilo's already capitalizing when he chooses the block. Great adjustment. Face the DP right here, too. Belial damage. Close M starter. This should be enough to kill. Yeah, absolutely. SSBA. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There we single go. hit kills. We don't have to see the animation. Exactly. A little single hit action. Speaking of choosing the block, right? Finding the perfect opportunity to walk back. Bait out the DP. Another round here for Kilo. Let's see if we can make it a game. We run up for the close heavy. Oops. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can you can delay that a little bit um, off the M starter, I think. No, I don't remember exactly which one, but they know the 2H here. Side switch, brave counter. Not dealing with that. Once again, delayed overhead. It catches out Kilo, and that's a punish. Man. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, this full jump over. Mm -hmm. This might kill. No, 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 no. Okay, no, not, not quite. Back throw is going to do it. There, I don't know. I don't know enough about Charlotta routes. I feel like you could have linked in a, a brave counter there to uh, get the SBA after, but I don't know. I, I trust Zero's judgment way more than mine. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but either way, Kilo is still trying to put a game on the board here. Up against the wall, look for the stomp. Ooh, EP. Goisha into the UDP. Zero gets the side switch off the jump in. Coming up. Just going for the reset, yeah. Oh, no. Woo! No! That is not quite going to be enough to kill. Bit of an awkward conversion, but Elo, significant life lead. Can afford to play the waiting game, but the big jump in almost seals it out. Ooh, just barely caught up by the U-Ball. Fox saving you a little bit there. Right outside of chip range, waiting for another 50. Serum wants to send the ball for the full wall bounce. Burn it through these cooldowns. You need to do something before Zeram starts building meter back. Ultimate skills are, are very scary right now for Charlotta. There it is. Far heavy. Gonna take it. Looks like caught the jump right there. That that crisp vertical hitbox coming in clutch. And we slash on through one a piece here. I like the awareness from Kilo, right? Back up against the wall. You're trying to wait it out. Find a whip punish for Zeram. And then once he builds up that 50, you know you have to be so careful. You have a little bit of health, but that wall bounce will kill. Speaking of back up against the wall after the jump out. Back throw. Brave counter gets blocked. Uh, now, we're, now we're streaming back out to mid screen right here. Yep. Ooh. No check on the jump over. Double BC. Slash on through. No super required. Once again, it's set point for zero. Alright. This could still go either way. Kilo, can you put up that first game or the second game, excuse me, but I don't know. You're you're gonna have to get through the brick wall that's zero right now. And that is looking more challenging as every second goes by. Sweep going to connect. Can't get the conversion there, but the frame trap uh, Honda hands is going to do it. All right. Should be some decent damage here. Dude, we are just chopping on through the loops off of the hands. The thousand sword slashes. Once again, we got the brave or the raging strike rather straight into the super. Wow. And that's you were going to live with this sliver, bro. But no, zero seals it out for a spot in the winner's side top eight. That's crazy. All right. Yeah. Just like that, Kilo's going down to losers. Stick it out with the Belio, though. Like, respect. Yeah. Um, I, I I like that we're uh we're going back in there. Now that uh now that Nier is not like totally broken, broken. Yeah. It's going back to old reliable says, all right. No more combo DP. Maybe I just go back to what I know, what I've been able to, like you said, get so many of these results in these offline top eights, you know, previously. So might as well with the comfort factor. But you know, a player that is not rocking with the comfort factor, 
endorsing, mm. er, endorsing themselves into the Lord of Flames. Pulling up with the Percival is Witch Hazel heading up against Graf. So Graf, we have not seen on stream today, so I'm unfamiliar with who they're going to be pulling up with. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. I, I actually want to pop back to their pool because they knocked off some killers, I believe. Yeah. Oh, Prada Prada DQ. Damn, that's crazy. Mm, All right. See. Um, B Batal, B Riley. All right. All right. It's a mob. It's a, it's a pretty okay player. Is it, is it the Vasaraga? This is interesting. Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, actually, if, if Witch Hazel wasn't a non player, I would be more worried about. If she knew this matchup um but like i if, if you could play narm into into vise i feel like you could play you could play mercy in this match okay okay pulling up for another top eight qualifier once again we got witch hazel versus graf lord of flames versus the big old armor man himself man i love watching this character it'd be very frustrating to fight against the boss yeah super sick character Slashing at the skies. We linebacker tackle right on through. Armor as well. Yeah, multi hit DP says, get off of me. Oops. All right. Able to hit. Conf oh, oh, no. There's the reversal option. Who gave Vasaraga a reversal command <laughs> grab? <laughs> Spend the 50 for it, but getting a lot of distance out of the corner. Wait. She Our doesn't know. DP. Oh, God. Oh, I don't think Witch Hazel has the sauce against Stance. Uh, just tried to DP buff stance and that that will lose almost every time I believe. Yeah, with the armor right, the soul forge right behind it yeah. just to go right on through. Yeah, we got some graph fans in that chat as well. Oh, graph is Canada. I see. I feel like the Canada Ooh. crowd always shows a lot of love here. Definitely not a lot of HP on Witch Hazel's side, looking for any last hit, but the Yo. ultimate night swing first round to graph. Hidden, hidden killer graph from Canada coming up, upsetting the whole bracket right here. Damn. You know what I'm saying. All right, stomp oh. on through, stomp the yard. So stock DP should win, but the vast player can react before it burns. Oh, the so and that's what it is. I see, I see. That's the that's the scythe stop we see right there. That's got the infinite armor one. All right, yeah, you're uh, right. I remember okay. now. My bad. My bad. Good call. I was unaware, to be honest with you, even on the layer one, but still we slice on through. That's a layer one for the game one. Graf. All right, off to a strong start. Narmaya taking this, or Narmaya. Jesus. I'm calling Witch <laughs> Hazel Narmaya now. That's not good. Witch Hazel taking a quick sec, thinking about it, and then just going right back in his personal. There, there, is, there is no character switching happening tonight. Yep. We're committed to the Lord of Flames, but the Purple Flames again. going right on through. Yep. There it is again. All right, infinite armor off the stance. Yeah, beats that every time. Yeah, good reactions coming out here from Graf, right? Ready for the counter plane, ready for the counter counter. We slash on through, but the immediate ultimate tackle. Couple follow behind the fireballs. Ooh, all right, a little scary right there. Oh, no, could have got the punish, but was a little concerned about where that hitbox land, and yeah, I don't blame you. Um, no stocks. Wasn't able to get the wall bounce off that. That sucks. You could have got a full combo otherwise. Yeah, we're trying to play a little bit more out of range. You know, dropping a couple conversions here and there, but I think it's working out for Hazel, right? Not trying to yeah. overextend stay in grass face where, you know, it's given them a couple opportunities to look for that reversal in previous rounds. Which right. Hazel's starting to make something happen here. Finally get the game going in the corner right now. It, it's mid-screen. Which Hazel really needs to find a way to deny these stocks. I think that's the key right now. Yeah, exactly. We're seeing her, you know, try and pull up, play a little bit more aggressive. You're like, oh, why are you running up on Vasaraga? And then all of a sudden, you give them the Soul Forge for free. They get to pull up with the armor yeah. behind it. You're like, oh, I see why we got to pull up here. But all right, back up against the Ooh. wall, looking to box out. All right. Command throw. Uh, no less and we're gonna take another stock off that but that scales pretty heavily still sitting at a bit of a deficit here especially off that swipe <laughs> all right oh my God. able to Incredible. make your way through the duration doesn't escape dodges on the ultimate fireball should be the kill for hazel here don't even need the hundred behind it the lord of flames puts a game on the board yeah, so smart going into the uh, Raging Chain right there to eat that little bit extra damage. Didn't ultimately need it, but that, that was yeah. the right play there for sure, guaranteed. Just to make sure. I think we're at like 98 meters, so we were like, all right, let's just spend it. I know it's going to kill five stocks here on the side of Hazel. Oh, okay. And frame traps Ooh. with a DP, but no, nah, we're not going to bite for it. Graph. 
gets hit with the meaty far H. And we're just swinging at that that optimal range from both these cats. Yep. All right, far H into the command dash. Send out the flame carpet. Just barely outside of the sight drop. What is this matchup? That's what I'm saying, oh, dog. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we are, we are officially bullying in the corner. Percival is back, gang. Box yep. out. It's like vanilla never left. Oh man, I still don't think he's that strong, but like, yeah, we're <laughs> we're so back, bro. We're so back. Ultimate command it finally escapes. No, we've seen it once. We'll see it again. Graph armors on through for set point. Keen stuff. One more. Witch Hazel. Oh no. Okay. As a game, but no no rounds going for this round or this game. Excuse yeah. me. It's scary. I think a couple more before Graph takes the next one. Tackle out of the corner. Armor through, but we whiff. Ooh, jeez, yeah. There's that mix-up again. Can frame trap with the L follow up there um, to be minus a few if you don't space it right. But it's it's yep. so potent. You just let it rock, and then she can strike throw after. Exactly. You got the strike option to keep you locked down here. No pickup off the two L, but we just grab right on through the stomps. Invincible option once again. Graph taking their turn back stance, shoulder charge to get through the dash, and there's that armor pulling up once again to bust through the six six L. Counter hit. Ooh, might have been able to get something off. Uh, no, actually, sorry, that's a vanilla thing. My bad. All good, all good. Send out the fireball. Double old skills. Oh, no, but it's not enough. Graph seals it with the raging chain to qualify for winner's side top eight. That's crazy. That that matchup looks harder for Percival now. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. Back back when I played Percival, I would always play Lancelot into that matchup because that was like <laughs> just, it was just so much easier in, in, in the last version. But I I guess I always just assumed he did fine. Um, but man, Graf Graf made that look quite convincing. I'm not gonna lie, that was a strong showing. Um, usually usually if we want to see some of that high level Fasaraga play, we got to see Fuselet pull up. Um, yeah. But good news, J2, we'll have Fuselet in two games. That we will awesome. against Lazy Ruin. Yeah, fighting for yeah. top eight as well. But before that, you know, I'm sure you're looking at the bracket as well. And anybody in the chat who wants to keep up with us, of course, we got the exclamation point bracket for you guys to keep on keeping on. We got Coach Steve versus MBK for our next match. Yes, we do. Um, Siegfried versus Belial. Going to be a going to be a face off of the top tiers. Um, that's this is going to be a real fun one. Um, Coach Steve. Yeah. Just had a really, really good run at crossover arc. Um, exactly. Make a top eight there. So I, I think this could be a, a, a quite a strong showing for both these cats. We'll see. We'll yeah. see how this plays out. I mean, Coach Steve's so consistent, especially at a lot of these offlines as well, right? You know, grinding the online scene as well. But every time he pulls up to the offline, it's like, you know, fourth place here, third place here, making it, yeah. I think, second at Bum's birthday bash as well, right? And this isn't like the only game that he actively pursues, right? Just being able to, you know, carry, have a lot of carryover of the fundamentals throughout so many of these different games at the top level. You know, even if we're not able to break to that first place every single time, the consistency of being in that top cut is uh Wait, is to see. We might get a Sora's big punch man just joined. This this Wait a damn Steve might be because Steve played Sora's in uh in vanilla. This uh -huh. might be a I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Um but the only thing I need y'all playing right now is Matcharino because we still got seven codes left. We are so close. Try to try to polish these off right quick so we can get to the top eight with no delay. Yo, Steve. So almost there. Seven codes away. What is that? It's like a couple bucks that you guys can put into the prize pool. Free of charge. Stop on by while we wait for, uh, I don't know. What is Steve thinking, right? It's not Big Sword Man. Oh, my it's God. It's Big Punch right. Man. Yeah. It is. All right. Let's see it. Oh, man. All right. This was, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to gloat for a hot second on stream. This was my crowning oh, yeah. achievement in like the early vanilla days where I beat Steve, Coach Steve in one online bracket when Soros was bottom <laughs> one. Uh, that's when Soros yeah. was really bad too. So don't, I'll never do it again. But anyway, because <laughs> my flex for the night, MBK, um, definitely familiar with this matchup. Has played against some Soros uh, over the course. I'll, I'll be curious to see how they deal with uh, the big punch itself, ultimate uh, that that move, but the ultimate version. Um, I don't know. That, that is that is mighty powerful in neutral and pressure. 
yeah, the U dash punch just gets you so much distance out of the uh, out of the screen. It's wall bounce, if I'm not mistaken, too. So definitely yeah. a lot of damage. And speaking of, pick up with the raging chain up against the wall. Not quite going to be able to kill without the super here, but now you're in throw range. And command throw range right here. We saw MPK yeah. represent that a little bit earlier. Not going for it quite yet. Respecting Steve, but it's the 2M. Yeah, yeah. Easy hit confirm right there. MPK is like, hit this one a million times. Next. Yeah. Done the combo once. We can do it a hundred times. Send out the pinwheel. Tries to jump on in, but the air unblockable landing right on into the spin. Once again, MBK just controlling in the corner right here. Really making Steve try to take a big swing. It yep. gets caught by the 2M one more time. And nice little pick up into the 5H as well. Tap on the dome with the close Ls. Just waiting out for the up kicks, but still gets back thrown for your troubles. That's That was kind of dirty, I'm not going to lie. I can't believe right. you just, you just went for that MBK. Ooh. Actually gets caught. Incredible. Oh my goodness. You're dead for that one. 50 in the bank, but didn't even need it. A quick game one for MBK. Are we sticking with the punch man? I see a little hesitation on this rematch screen here. Are we going to back out to the room and go back to big sword man? Or while we're in the winner's side, are we really going to try and push the Soros? Oh, oh, and it looks like it's the latter. Soros is back for game number two. I would have said go for big sword man. I forget that. I'm saying, yeah. Much better matchup, to be honest. But <laughs> hey, you know what? If you, if you want to play this character, this is where you practice it right here. Like. If this is going to be a tournament character, then you got to play him a tournament. Exactly. I was going to say we could go toe to toe, sword to sword, but instead we're going fist to fist. We pull up for the throw. Hell yeah. All right. Honestly, Steve's doing a much better job already. Got a good amount of health off MBK right here. Not winning the class. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say. Jumping over that dash punch. Oh my goodness. Missed the timing on that. MBK was already in the air. I think yep. he was looking for, for, for the hit on the fall right there, but it did not happen. Yeah, timing just a little bit off here, so you had to eat the super for it. Spend the BP, lost one to the super, but maybe you're looking to get one back here off of this combo. No, we just go for the U dash punch and more than enough to kill. Perfect routing right there. Spent the meter just in case Coach Steve's not letting that one get away. All right, finally put a round up on the board right here. We'll see if Steve can put a full game up. Um, MBK, yeah, so good at hit confirming that 2M. And end up putting you right into that dash punch range. Into the growler. Close H for the counter. Built up enough meter once again to route into you dash punch. The more comfortable Steve gets in this matchup, the more we'll see that growler. Oh, there it is. Once again, 5L plink. Um, Raging strike there. No, that should have killed. Yeah. Oh, it didn't have enough meter. Okay, never mind. My bad. Still gets it, though. Big punch man is able to punch his way into game three. Here we go. Big punch, man. And also the big raid from Boston Blue. Oh. What's good there, gamers? I know you were playing some uni over there on this fine yeah. Wednesday night. So thanks for stopping on by. Hope you guys had a good ass time. You made it just in time for game number three. It's a top eight qualifier between Coach Steve and MBK. Yeah, this is game three. MBK off to an early lead right here. Coach Steve, I, I mean, Soros does have some reversal options now, metered, of course. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's 5U that we haven't really seen represented a whole ton from Coach Steve yet. And this might do it right here. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Uh, raging chain. Oh. Modius? Combo limit? Really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we, we saved that for later in the combo. But I guess I guess earlier it scales a little better. So, all right. You know what? I respect your game, MBK. Yeah, we saw the starter, we saw the full resources, and went, all right, let's keep it simple for the tournament combos and put us on to set point. Yeah, and go we should just bullying and normal. Um, Soros doesn't have any projectile and vol moves, I don't think, so that just goes right through. The toe with the 2M. Oh, MPK spacing is so good. Yeah, and for those of you that are coming in from Uni, 2M, that, that little down kick he does, that's plus one at every range. Oh, no, jump it over the super. This is going to be some good damage, Shaysu. Talking about the 2M being plus one. Now we're going to talk about Coach Steve stuck at one HP. Barely any BP left to his name right now to try and escape, and it's such a big health lead to try and overcome with no meter. And the big press out right here. Oh my goodness. Had to spend the final one and just loses on the scramble after Goisha coming in clutch. That 236L is going to send Coach Steve to the loser side. MBK moving on to top eight. 
Yep, the 236L to seal it. The 32 Matau is raided on through with the party of two. What's good? What's popping? You made it just in time for our final top A qualifier, which we mentioned it before. We saw some Vasaraga earlier on the screen. And of course, we got the Vasco pulling up Fuselet. Pulling up against Lazy Ruin with the near. All right, Fuselet spotted, gang. Let's let's get it in chat. You already know yeah. what it is. There it is. All right. Sorry. Obligatory. Um, yep. Yeah, this is our top, our uh, last top eight qualifier for winners. Um, if you're just yep. pulling up from Boston Blue Beat, Zerom took a two one over Graf, or excuse me, Zerom took a two <laughs> two one over Kilo. Wow, yep. Graf took a two one over Witch Hazel. We just saw um, MBK take a two one over Coach Steve. Um, yeah. This is our final one right here. Lazy Ruin playing on the near Fuselet on the Vasaraga. This is going to be a really interesting matchup, especially with like the changes to near right because before you, yeah. you probably could have just like blown through off the off the, off the buffer ends um as, assuming it wasn't the infinite armor like scythe move yeah. we saw a lot in that other matchup um near near players are gonna have to think a little bit more now which i think is uh is good for everybody so Huh. Yeah, Seven exactly. Scale. Not being able to queue up the commands behind the DP, like you're saying, right? Not as many options to try and break through that armor. You gotta, you know, guess a little bit better on the defense. It's not quite yeah. the free escape that we're used to. So let's see it. Lazy Ruin taking a second to assess the game plan, thinking, all right, what are we doing against the Vasaraga? Are we familiar with the matchup? And are we ready to head into our final top eight winner side qualifier? And that's the thing, too. Like, that is the hey, people. <laughs> I feel like Vasaraga doesn't really have uh, a reputation of being a knowledge check character, but like it yeah. totally is. Is this a button check? What? No. What happened? We're are we gaming. just are we agreeing We're to no right BP? Now. Yes. The gentlemen's to uh, you know keep it yes. quick. What we, is going on? We said we're gonna play Guilty Gear Strive in this game of Grand Blue. Um, we're this gonna will be a two-touch two game. Yeah, yep. yeah, for real. All right, well, there's one. <laughs> there's your Heavenly Potemkin Buster. Yeah, we're going oh. Count Chocula. One, two. Send out the 236M. Caught out with the Vacuum Frame Trap. But yeah, even with the extra damage multiplier, right, you're going to need a, a few good hits to make your way through Vasaraga's HP. Oh, yeah. Command grab immediately off the walk. Now we're armored up. Basically one hit for Fuselet right here. Still spending the ultimate skill, saying I'm still using some of these new mechanics. These these two have to be memeing right now. Fuselet is like, all right, I'm playing with the homie. We're going to break out all, all kinds of the wild stuff. There we go. I wonder what the gentleman rules are if you get the BP back off of the super. By the way, we're going to let it rock. That means we, oh, no, we tried to go for the Raging Strike all the way from downtown, but all you get for it is a side swing. First round of Fuselet. Are all we right. going to do it again? Okay, no, again. that was for the memes. All right, just for the one time. We're, we're going to play right, the real right. game now. That's too funny. Maybe not. Maybe we're just not going to spend any Brave Counters. I'm waiting for Fuselet to, to press BC right here. There it is. All right, all right. Finally checks the doll. Now we're right back on offense, though. Lazy Ruin. You did a really good job of controlling this. Almost gets the whiff punish, too. Goodness, Dude. I'm ripping, bro. Dude, you armored on through, but you couldn't find anything off of it. But still, we let the U-Reversal Rock stomp the yard here, swiping at the skies. Fuselet has you up against the wall. Wow, the new swag combos from Foss. Let's go. Dashing moves and combos. Yeah. BC to, stay, to keep the corner right here. And that puts death in the hard cooldown. You are dead. No chance for resurrection this time. That's the first game going to Fuselet. Yeah, the only death we're seeing is near swiped off of the screen. Fuselet. And I mean, I get it, right? You're spending the BP to keep the corner there. The damage penalty really doesn't matter. You're just trying to keep your turn up as long as you can. But playing it a little bit slower here as we start off in round number two or game number two. Oh, jumping over the throw that time. Not able to get the punish. Still in recovery, but just gets frame trapped. Fuselet going to be uh, one of the back foot even after escaping the corner. Oops. All right, caught out with the reversal. Fuselet trying to keep the momentum up. Gets the Soul Forge. Mm. Right at the end, the Guard Crush connects, but couldn't really get anything at that range. Yeah. <laughs> Beyblade's still good. What nerfs? Question mark. 
<laughs> Two and for you, the death turn going right on through, but the infinite armor, once again, we're seeing such good use of it from both of the Vasaragas that we've seen on stream, but still got 50 meter behind it. Ultimate death turn, and speaking of turn around, we're crossing right on through the reversal. Nothing found for Fuselet, and now it's one touch. We got the meter too. Ultimate move will chip here. Yep. BC Ooh. armored right through. This could be Fuselet's chance. What do you think? I don't think this is dead. That's dead, though. 100%. Say goodbye. Fuselet on set point. Yeah, I was Ooh. thinking off of that second to last combo, we'd be able to pick it up with the Raging Strike, but it's all good. We got that throw. Set point, like you said, for Fuselet. Pack dash into the little sweep. Okay. Gotta make things happen right here. Oh, okay. Finally getting a hit, but it's just walk. We're just hit. We're just hitting with the walk. This is Pantera time now, bro. It's the walk we're cooking right now. Cooking with gas. Barely any health loss from Fuselet. Waiting for that 50 to come back up. No, we just stomped the yard into the throw once again. That's a really smart option to do off DP, right? There's no cancel options after. So the hitbox comes out, it kills death, and it moves you forward. Ow! All right. I love that consistency from uh, from Fuselet here. I love that for you, Bestie. No oofies on the screen and barely barely any health for Lazy Ruin. Walk it back, walk it forward. You got a 100 meter. You have parry super available. You have a double death turn, but tackle right into your face. Get scooped into the skies and Fuselet qualifies for winner's side top eight. Fuselet. All right. Um, very convincing anti uh, anti near tech there too. Um, and just like good solid defense all around. And by that I mean had the right spot for the the ultimate command grab. That's that's yeah. my goal right there. Um, man, all right. Um, I don't think we're gonna be streaming any of the losers qualifiers. Um, we're just gonna let those play out. So I believe we're just hopping right into the top eight, if I'm correct. Okay, yes, we yeah, will. so over there in the top eight, who do we have? We have Zerom versus Graf. MBK is going to be headed up against Fuselet. And catching up on the loser side of the bracket qualifying, right? Deva, Deva takes it 2-0 over Wish Hazel. Kilo takes it 2-0 over CD Lime. Uh, I think Professor Nekotech was waiting for the loser of that last match. And Coach Steve and Charchar are fighting it out for that last top eight loser spot as well. So, Damn. all right. Um, Didn't... No. Didn't Coach Steve lose to Char Char at No. Frosties? I can't remember. I'm I'm I might be making things up again. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna pursue that uh <laughs> that thread. It's uh, hard to remember the lore, right? I feel like there's so yeah. much Grand Blue action, you know, in the past like three, four months that it's like all the events just end up blending together in my brain, right? I'm like, did you meet at Frosties? Was that when you made it to top A? Was that crossover arc, Tiana? I don't know. Was it's this all, some random online bracket I watched? Who knows? Exactly, There's yeah. five a week. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, good problem to have. Um, yeah, right. Lots of good practice to go around, so. Yeah. All right. Looks mm -hmm. like we're just waiting on Graf here. Um, Graf? Oh, Graf was the other. We have two Vasaraga players in top eight. You said that earlier, and my brain just did not compute that. It just it just disregarded that information completely. Wow. Oh, that's it's crazy. Okay. I, I'm on the same page, because while you were waiting, I was like, yeah, Graf against Zero. Who did Graf play again? When we spent like five minutes talking about, oh, Vasaraga doing such a good job with the infinite armor. Sometimes it's so easy to forget, but I would never forget to shout out Ryer with the raid of the 18. Mm. Summon on by just in time. Mm. You made it for top eight. We're waiting on Zero. And we're waiting on Graf to give us some Charlotta versus Vasaraga action. While we have more people from the raid, I'd also like to point out that we still have a Maturino. In case any of y'all want to go and put some money in there, we've actually claimed all the codes. Thank you all for that. Thank you very much. But now it seems like we have both our gamers. Yeah, we're Hell, good. Yeah. Um, Twelve fifty in the match arena right now. That is all the codes, but there's still a room for direct contribution. We got those stretch goals: top four at one fifty, top six payout at three twenty, top eight at six sixty. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd love to get to at least top four. So if y'all are feeling generous. Hit that, hit that big yellow button in there, um, and we're hopping right into this now. The big yellow button for the donations. The small yellow girl for the demon flips. We're pulling up here, Charlotta versus Vasaraga, and we're letting the intros rock as well. And I'm glad you brought up demon flip, because that's actually going to be, like, kind of a crucial option in this matchup, I feel mm -hmm. like. I don't know how that interacts with stance, but I would imagine that blows up at least some of those options uh might might be like one of those wicked specific interactions we see yeah. but i don't know both both these two are are unorthodox enough and how they use their moves sometimes where where i i wouldn't be surprised to see some wacky stuff 
Exactly. Oh, there it is. oh right my god, map. you brought it up immediately, right? The command grab just to go right on through any of these armor follow-ups. Obviously, we have the opportunity to swipe Charlotta out of the sky, but I don't know if Graf is going to be ready for it. Keeping the onslaught here in the corner. Ooh, back at you, though. Say, command grabs? What about them? I got those two. Mm -hmm. Back and forth here, send out the old fireball. Yeah, right over. Stabilize with the Raging Strike just in case. Uh, gonna have to use a little bit of meter here, but you could conceivably build a little bit. Probably won't even need it. Woohoo! Man grab gets ducked right there. That is absolutely how you get a punish going. All right. Yeah. You duck the command grab. You tried to BC, and the pressure afterwards gets thrown for it. Now Graf is one throw away. This is safe. You're pushed back so far away, but just barely off of the stomp. Not able to get the throw right after. Chip damage range, so we run up for the DP. It's a checkmate situation. We saw the attempt at the spot dodge to go right on through, but the delay coming out from Zero takes round number one. Especially light DP, too. I think the hit coming down would have smoked that, even if the initial spot mm. dodge had worked for the initial hit. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, just real smart there from Zero. You, you could tell he was not ready for that ultimate skill to not chip. <laughs> All right. Well, we're already into it. Zero Damn. won't begin layering that strike throw pressure. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there is an air command grab, though. I keep forgetting about that. All good. The anti-air command grab. We're we're seeing the, uh, you know, both of these characters. Grappler is not the first thing that we think of when we think about their archetypes, but especially in this matchup, right? So much of the throw back and forth to, uh, you know, snipe you out of the sky and, of course, go through the Soul Forge armor. Seeing a lot of it. And as the reversal gets jumped right on over, Zero seals out the first game. Uh, Charlotta up forward OS is like kind of crazy. Kind go go goes kind of hard. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah. I think that that beats uh, like all raging strikes pretty universally and like a lot of reversals like that. Oh, the, the parry! The parry on the stomp. Okay, send out the shield. Do not step on me. Up against the wall now. Parry's a scary option to use in Charlotta sometimes, but Zeram has a knack for finding the right spot. Yeah. Bit charge doesn't get you too much, but the sweep fights out here for the mid screen. Oh, armor through, yes, yes, guaranteed right there. Same thing, found the cancel. Oh, and we're going over. Ooh. Oh, not able to oh, confirm, so we're gonna reset with the throw. Cool. Yeah, plus again. To the strike throw, do it. You read the future, but no, <laughs> Graf has the crystal ball. We're letting the U reversal rock. Yeah, that, that, that was a smart option there. That beats throw and strike, so might as well, might as well give that piece a shot. Graf fighting for their life right here. The stop goes through. Infinite armor stuffs the raging strike, and that is going to do it for Graf. Finally puts a round up on the board here. Yeah, and I like the idea for uh, Zero to try and swing through. There was barely any health behind the armor for Graf, so, mm -hmm. you know, a close situation, but either way, the armor is just enough. Locks on the overhead triple attack. Yeah. Yeah, once again, all right. Able to hold that for just long enough. But it's the ultimate DP that's going to connect and the delayed overhead. Yeah, that's fine. If you're Graf, take those overheads. Do not do not worry about standing up against Nance. Or against exactly. Nance, excuse me. The risk reward, not too great. I'm not going to lie to you. You take a, a little bit of chip damage here and there. Maybe you're getting some plus frames. But yeah. still, so many more interactions needed to be able to work your way through the Vasaraga health bar. And the ultimate skill clash is going to come out in Graf's favor there. Beating out against, oh, oh, never mind. Parry to go through and the not quite DP, but still really fast. <laughs> ultimate shoulder charge is yep. ultimately going to sink Graf, honestly. Yeah. Tackle not going to find its mark here. It's set point for zero. I'm trying to send Graf into the loser's side and with a counter hit. Yeah, definitely going to make some good headway here. Oh, wow. All right. Delayed 2H actually connects on uh, standing Charlotta, no less. All right. Reset. Yeah, go right Ooh. through it. Invincible. That I think that blows up almost everything in that stance, too. Sit down. Yeah, the side drop once again. We spot dodge through, but the Soul Forge activation stops the ultimate ball. Graf mashing through again. Power up. Spending a little meter for the pressure, runs into the BC. All right, finally took a diamond away from Zero. We'll take that. Oh, can't punish that range. That's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, run up for the throw. Stomp the yard. It's the swing for Graf to swing it back. It's one apiece. Graf keeping it alive. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, back throw. Trying to maintain that position right here. Zerum following up with the heavy. All right, a little overhead action. Yep. Send the Honda hands. Oh, still going to find the light confirm out of the corner, though. Woo! -hoo! Off the shoulder charge. I'm actually surprised the ball was able to follow you all the way to the corner. We can have back up against the corner, right? Gets you the reward off the old ball as well. So we're going to stop on out. Ah, delay it. Looking for the brave counter. All right. Love the thought there from Graf, but ultimately loses the scramble. And now Zeram's going to put you in the blender. Ooh. Up against the wall. It's safe. Check the line tackle. And it's set point for Zeram. And once again, RL, Plink Raging Strike. Really good OS. Oops. OS required. We're calling it out with a full anti-air on the Demon Flip. Back down to the ground you go. Ooh. It takes the disguise immediately after anyway. Says, you cannot keep me down. Ooh. All right. And a little bit of the uh, the cash and the ultimate skill. Oh, wow. Good job navigating the parry. Threw it out a little too early right there. So time number two is going to be more than enough. Here I'm once again kind of trying to lock down on the corner. Oh, all right. All right. I'll make it happen. Oh, good. Got a little bit of meter back for it. Jumps right on over, but it's back against the wall. Graf doesn't have any meter to try and enforce you fighting back out to the mid screen. All right. OBP to your name. It's still set point for zero. I'm any hit. Yeah, any, any hit. hit. Yeah, you kill. Oh, ultimate <laughs> skill. There it is. Oh, no. Is that? Can you not like another one? Not going to need to. Not even going to need to jump over. Confirm the Raging Strike, and that's it. Zero, I'm taking it 2-1 over Graf. Yeah, that was a scary scramble at the end there, right? I think both of us were thinking, oh, we're close enough to the wall for the wall bounce. You have the meter behind it. Just do the second ball to kill. But I guess we were just a pixel too far out to get the wall bounce and be able to continue the combo. But either way, Zero, mastering the scramble once again to seal his spot in winner's finals. Inner's finals and Zeram. All right, definitely, uh, definitely a familiar uh, association we've seen. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see who's going to join them there, though. Next up's going to be MBK versus Fuselit. We're going to have another Vosrog on screen. Oh yeah. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit more of a mid range monster here. Um, this is yeah. gonna be it's gonna be another funny matchup. Yep, MBK pulling up with the Belial. Of course, we have the armor to, you know, try and stomp on through, but we have a couple of ways to keep you at bay before you're able to set up that Soul Forge, right? Of course, we're thinking about the pinwheel back and forth, all the follow-ups as well to try and stop that approach, and then pulling up as well with the plus frames. So yeah. let's see what the game plan is for Fuselit here, heading into our other side of winner's semifinals. Hopping right into it. Um, it's going to be our last uh, winner's side top eight match for a little while. We're going to delve yeah. into the loser side, figure out what's what down there, who gets to go, who gets to stay. But right now, I'm just worried about the stick-ass Fasaraga skin. This color scheme has, has me feeling a certain way. I'm not going to lie. I'm digging it. This shit is kind of clean. This is like the mithril Vasaraga, I got to say. Hell but the Aura yeah. Calcum gradually showing some cracks. MBK. Finds the first hit here. A little light confirmed puts your back up against the wall. Yeah, MBK already running the offensive game plan right here. Trying to hit yeah. confirm these two L's a little too far away that time, but that's all right. We're still very much in the driver's seat here until the 2M of Vasaraga knocks you right down. Fuse lit, no stranger to get it confirmed there. Soul Forge it up. Try to capitalize on this armor. There it is. Yeah, spent the 25 and the BP for a little extra corner carry. And speaking of to escape the corner, we do the double line tackle. You reversal against the wall Damn. um i have no clue what happened there that was the most awkward trade i've ever seen yeah, in my right. life the trade on the counter so we saw the slowdown and then immediately back down to earth but you know, mbk back down to basically one hp right now you're in chip damage range against masaraga with so much health any armor just to stomp on through kills you got to keep up the offensive it's again catching catching out the brave counter attempts but uh now we're back to full screen this just got a little scarier there's a buff Looking for their, he's looking for the shoulder charge right here. Got to try exactly. to take that with the projectile. Ooh. But the low is ultimately what's going to put MBK in the ground. Fuselet taking the first round. 
Yeah, that's such a scary situation, right? You're in the chip damage and you're thinking, oh, okay, let me pull up on Vasaraga and keep him locked down in pressure so that he can't escape, right? You know, and then pull up with the armor approach. But with the 50 behind it, right, we still have the U reversal as well. So you're scared to keep up that pressure in the close range. So damned if you do, damned if you don't. But either way, while you're thinking Fuselet is going to let that U reversal walk rock once again. Pants counter hits again. fuselet has been really good at throwing that out in, in a way where, like, the hit itself is going to, to secure that, not just the follow up. Good stuff from Fuselet. MBK. All right. Trying to be the mad best killer, but seeing death in your eyes. First game here over to Fuselet, but nice little catch with a pinwheel spin. All right. Roided up, armored up, ready to go. Yep. Vasaraga. Oh, no, we're playing on the back foot now. This is the MBK game. I lied. Playing with a little bit more confidence here. You're like, all right, I still got my losers run, but let me play a little bit more aggressive. I'm not trying to give you any opportunity to pull up with the Soul Forge. Strike, throw, throw once again. This is what we saw a little bit in that uh, last game. Like, Ooh. MBK starting to layer on the uh, throw game a little bit more, which I like to see. Reversal's going to come out from both sides. Here we go. Yep. Trying to take the corner back. Ooh. BC, but immediately 50 meter behind it. Once again, Fuselet so unafraid to try and get the momentum back off of the side swing. Yeah, very, very consistent with that option so far this set. Oh, scary. Just barely missing the air unblockable there. That's okay. We're going to take that. MBK on the driver's seat. Eats another reversal, but has full meter right here. Wake up, sweep at the SSBA. Come on, do it. No, we're not do it. Let's do MBK nah. plays too sick for that, actually. Nothing found. Full blue on the HP. Looking for the SSBA. Yep. Simple combo into the super. You might as well, right? You're like, all right. Yes. Keep 100%. it simple. Get the that. When, when you're below 30%, auto combo into SSBA is guaranteed. Just do like do the easy input at that time. At that point, like who cares? Just guarantee that call. Exactly. All right. Round on the board here for MBK. Looking to try and tie it up. EX pinwheel up against the wall. Stagger with the CLs. Yeah, here we go. We're going to see the cash out. Refund, do a little BP damage right here, take a diamond. Yep. A highway robbery. Um, and now we might even see the command thrust that up. Oh, yeah, he went for it. Usually, two sticks to fall for it, but it still loses to the follow up. Oh, my goodness. Well, I love the attempt right there, but sometimes your opponents just wise to it. Yeah, the follow-up not enough, but MBK following up a strong first game from Fuselet with a game of his own after the projectile war. He said, let me just jump right on through the jump in up against the wall here. Plus frames off the MDP. Yeah, that, that makes uh, Fuselet get the brave counter here. Once again, stance hit, so we're absolutely going to cancel the command grab. I believe that might even be guaranteed. Okay, dodge off the U fireball. Sending out all of these pinwheels and finally so frustrated that the linebacker charge gets caught out with a parry. Oh, goodness. Yo, the up forwards tonight. I was talking up zero yeah. up forward game, but MBK has been re able to react to a lot of these stance switch ups and just go right over for the punish. That's what we saw in the last round end. And yeah. Yeah, that might lead to the mix up that takes us down right here. What do you think? Do it again. Do it again. Command grab. No, not going for that time. Regular throw. <laughs> MBK going. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta even this piece out a little bit. All right, all right. Set point for MBK. Trying to meet up with Zerom over there in the winner's finals, but Fuselet throwing out the 2M. Not trying to go down that easy. All right. DP. Oh, all right. Ooh. Finally reacts to that command grab with a DP. MBK yeah. locked in here. Trying to bully Fuselet in the corner, but we got the Soul Forge. Here we go. A chance. Okay. Playing so active on the defense here. Immediately the delay on the parry. Oh, you had to do that right there because uh, MBK had enough meter to walk up a man crab off that. So, yeah. like, that was pop it and then get out of dodge. Ooh. Scary. Tried to look for the uh, grave counter there. Came out as a raging strike. Bring the pinwheel back to bring you back down to earth. Caught out with two M. Reset to the raging strike. This took the BB42, so you're taking all the damage in the world, and we spin to win. It's the EX Pinwheel for MBK to move on to winner's finals.
All right, so we're going to get another classic uh, OG Grand Blue matchup then for winner's final. Zeram yeah. versus MPK. Um, and I'm sure they're going to be sick with their mains, too. I don't think we're going to yeah. see any wild character switches there. So that'll, that'll be like a, 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 a fun little classic. Um, yeah. But we're going we're gonna to get some new faces down there. <laughs> new, fa new faces uh, yeah. down in Losers. Uh, Kilo and Deva coming up first, followed by Coach Steve and Lazy Ruin. Um, Graph, of course, waiting on the winner of Coach Steve and Lazy Ruin, and it is going to be Fuse Lit against the winner of Kilo and Devo. Yeah, the Vassaraga Bros were split up in the winner's side, sent down into the losers, but don't worry, they're still on opposite paths. It is entirely possible if they make it over to the loser semis that we see the Vassaraga mirror, but they have to make it through the winner of Kilo and Deva and the winner of Coach Steve and Lazy Ruin. Well, you know, they got sent down into the loser side, but they've also been playing out of their minds this evening, so... It's going to be uh, a lot to try and figure out here as we wait for our players to head up. So, Deva, I don't think we've seen on the stream today. We, you know, saw when we were checking out the bracket earlier, you know, the two over Hazel to try and qualify into the loser's top eight side. And, of course, a few other upsets on the way as well. But looks like we're going to be seeing the Siegfried. Okay. Yes. Yes. Siegfried is the play right here. Um, yeah. And Q, Kilo sticking it out with um belly okay i'm wondering if this is going to be the choice going forward uh after the near nerfs but we'll see there's uh there's plenty of offline action in the coming months yeah. to uh for, for the for these players to to show us what they're all about um yeah. especially in this patch i think we're good to go whenever you're ready guys one more time match arena the codes are all out but uh we're still working on those stretch goals yeah want to get to 150 for top four payout help a brother out help these players out and we're getting right into it. Hell yeah, we still got so much more in this top eight. And if you guys are enjoying the action as well, you got that direct contribution. But either way, game number one in the loser's side, Kilo versus Deva. Catches you out here with the 5H. Not quite able to get a follow-up after, but a little sweep through with the 2U. Oh! oh, no, you're... All right, that was that was not nice, Kilo. That was not nice what you just did there. <laughs> Oh, definitely got the punish for it. Um, but Kilo's right out. Dashing M. Yup, that's plus one. Don't worry about that. Knocking on the door. Frame chat off the close L. Kilo, so worse for wear right now. Chip damage is a factor. And even with the EXDP, right? Any run of DP coming out here from Deva should be able to seal it out. Well, all right. Yeah, a little super action. Uh, SSBA is going to take not one, but two diamonds from Deva. Going to have to guarantee that you hold this pick up at least. Uh, unless we want to see like a meter reversal option for DP, I guess. Speaking of which, there it is. Yeah. That, that honestly might have chipped from that range anyway. Um, yeah. The scary spot for Kilo to be in. Yeah, I was surprised that we went for the run up there when we were in chip damage territory. But, you know, sometimes you psych yourself out knowing that you're one yeah. hit away when you got to play like ultra aggressive to try and, you know, mess with the opponent's expectations. But either way, EXD becomes out. First round to Deva here. And now we're playing the Fireball War in the mid screen. Sheesh, and that's what happens. I always forget how far that move goes. Do not get counter hit by that piece. We're all the way in the corner off one hit here. All right, Kilo still finds a way out. Oops. Pick up to the Goisha, run up for another throw. One grab wasn't enough. Dude, that throw did almost as much damage as that combo. I underestimated how hard that scaled. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. I'd send the pinwheel. Oh, just barely out of range off of the walk back, though. Oh. Battle the two M's. The Yeesh, fella's sticking out the leggy. Speaking of, with the 6 6 L. Air unblockable setup right there. No, wasn't able to cash out with the super. Oh, goodness, and this could be trouble. SSBA going to take both the diamonds. I don't know. I can't call. It's going to be close. I think it, I think it does. What? Yeah, All right. Dude. I lost the channel points, but no bravery points here for Deva. Fighting for your life. You have an SSBA in tow, but I feel like more so we're looking for the double ultimate skills to try and bring this yeah. back, but no spot dodge is going to save you from all the active frames on spin. Between um, Kilo and MBK, we've seen a lot of people get caught by 236, uh, what is it, 4C four, four right there. Um, yeah. Just, it's so active. You can't spot dodge that. Yeah. One of those checkmate situations. Yeah, Trying that health range. Well with. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I got caught up with the start of a pinwheel. 
Ooh, right out of range. I like the spacing here from Deva, just staying right outside of the spin. <laughs> yeah, back at you. Okay. Yeah, Kilo's been pressing pretty consistently after that. No ant here. Careful of that uh, Ju. Yeah, scared of the Goomba Stomp air stall, but instead eating a super for your troubles. Caught out the hesitation here. It's gonna give up the life lead right here, and Kilo is gonna have plenty of opportunity to build some meter back. Ooh. Speaking of the Tried air stall, the Ju from Eva is gonna uh, find the hit, and Kilo gets the crouch confirm after. Exactly. Sword of Damocles on the way down. Tried to go for that preemptive 2H right on after, but. All right, one touch on both sides. You have an old skill and BP behind it for this next hit. Yeah, didn't want to deal with potential command grab right there. Spent the BC. Ah, uh, yeah, looking for a BC of their own right there. You see those pot dodges. Kilo is ready. Ooh, space out 66M. Just trying to yeah. find this next hit. Single hit confirm off of the 5H. Kilo takes the first game. Wow. Great hit confirm off the far heavy right there. Um, yeah. Very, very confident press, too. Yeah, that was only game one? Yeah, All right. yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. It's a double check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, raw record connects. Oh, yeah, can't really get a bunch off that uh, right there, unfortunately. But Deva is still able to uh, let's maintain this pressure here in the corner. Sheesh. All right, a little spot dodge action, trying to catch out a uh, attempt to swing back. Oh, jumping on through, doesn't find the air-to-air, uh, -air, but does find the block on the EXDP afterwards. Oh, panic action from Deva, getting you supered once again. All right, it's a big one once again. Hilo spending the full thing. Oh, no! Command grab goes unpunished. Like the neutral jump there, but could not get anything off of it. We still got to play a little nooch here. Yep. Send the BC, run up for a lot of screen space here. Kilo up against the wall. Still got 5H with that advancing heavy starter, but no. Instead gets countered here by the 2M. 2M, the stop sign, bro. Deva, yeah. Deva has done a great job playing the keep out game with that thing. Uh, but this should be enough to do it. One more of those. Yeah, say goodbye. That's it. I like how uh, Kilo's going with the second hit of the, uh, the command grab there. I don't think yeah. that screws with combo limit. Um, and it gives you a little bit extra damage. <laughs> Send yeah. the EXDP immediately. You weren't quite ready for it. So you got caught up by the hit on the way down. Now you're up against the wall. Nice little light confirm into Goisha. Cool. Yeah, double hit sweep keeps you locked down even after the spot dodge. Both these players, like, not afraid to block it out right now. Great reaction on the command grab attempt. 2M is going to get a little bit extra damage from Devo right here. Still fighting for their life against Elo on set point, though. Send the leggy spin right through. Anti-air 5H catches out a jump attempt from Devo. We've been seeing a lot of attempts to try and be tricky with the air stall. But no, instead, it's BC for the jump out. The the Brave Counter Bait gets punished by the 2M. Um, and... Now, Dev is in a bit of a life lead right here. You have to play this perfectly. Any hit will kill. We already saw that Kilo can hit confirm that far heavy very easily. That was it. No. Yeah, didn't believe in the hit there. Didn't want to spend the Raging Strike by accident. 100 meter on both sides. Any hit, all oh, aside from that one, is going to be able to kill just a little too far for the 6XL pickup. Kilo chipping away right here. Had to spend it, and that's it right here. You got one of those left. Both the chip. And that's yeah. it. Caught the up back. That is going to seal it out. Kilo eliminating Deva. Moving on 2-0 to fight off against Fuselet. Yeah, and that's one of those checkmate situations, right? We saw it catch out the jump from the corner, expecting yeah. that, oh, we're going to go for the old pinwheel to try and catch me out. So let me jump out and, you know, try and avoid the spin follow-up afterwards. But instead, just going for a taller hitbox says, all right, go, we should bring you right back down to earth. And like you said, Kilo moving on to fight Fuselet in loser's quarters. Yeah, and even even if that um, what was it? The ultimate Esmodius got blocked there. That was still yeah. chip. Like you were, you were, you were exactly. Yeah. That was that was that was one hundred percent checkmate. Yeah. All right. What happened to Kilo Near? Near got shot, so we went back to old Beliable. You feel me? That's, that's old Beliable is so good, bro. Yeah. It, it just works. I think uh, I think I stole that right from Zero, if I remember correctly. I think that's a Zero mm. thing. Don't quote okay, me. On okay. That. Yeah. Ask Ask Zero next time you see him. He'll he'll be able All to. Right 
answer more honestly than myself, I'm sure. Um, and uh, the only, I'm gonna be real. The only thing like I'm, I'm trying to answer for right now is this match arena because we're gonna need some we're gonna need some more dollar to use this piece. Um, all the codes have been claimed, so big thank you for everyone for your hard work there. Um, but we still got them stretch goals. Top four payout yeah. happens at 150. Top six is 320. Top eight six sixty. Um, and I know these these cats in the uh, climbing their way toward uh, that fourth place cutoff would definitely appreciate at least top four. Exactly, guys. Come on. We started out top eight with two Vasaragas chilling out here. Of course, yeah. Zero on the Charlotta as well. We got a lot of character variety going on here. So if we could spread a little bit of love by, uh, you know, making that prize pool a little bit more healthy. If you guys are feeling generous, feel free to stop on by with those direct contributions. But, you know, if you don't have the extra change right now, it is all good. We're just happy to be hanging out with you guys once again for Grand Blue WASD Open here over at twitch.tv slash Imperius Club, which, you know, if you don't have any extra money, it's all good. There's no more codes to claim. But, of course, the follows on the Twitch channel do also mean a lot as well. If you got the Twitch primes, you can drop them too. And we have the YouTube stream going on as well. So I saw you guys, you know, getting sniped out by the ads earlier. It happens, such is life. But, like Koyo said in the chat, we also have the YouTube dual streaming at the same time ad-free. So if you got to hop back and forth between them, all is well and... It gives you the opportunity to uh, hit the Imperius Club channel with the sub as well. So lots of ways to support. Use the chat. It's lazy time. Oh Respect. yeah. Respect. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that means like you get it. You get a break between now and your next match, but I'm here for it. Um, we're we're gonna have Big Punch Man versus Lazy Ruin. Coach Steve's back in the building. Um, and yep. I believe y'all are good to go whenever your heart so desires. Um, this this matchup just got a lot harder for New York now that you can't yeah. combo off TP. Um, yeah, sure, you, you you could throw it out there, but that's that's that costs money. Um, yeah, you only get a little hit out of it, and Sora's Sora's might be able to just hold five you and absorb whatever next up you you throw out of next. Exactly. Go straight into the Growler, immediately letting the Dash Punch rock. Doesn't quite find anything off of it, though, but it's going to be scary, right? Especially if Coach Steve has your back up against the wall with a lot of meter. You have a lot of ways to just cycle through the cooldowns, keep the plus frames up, where before you're eating so much damage for, uh, you know, being wrong and eating that DP. Now, you know, the risk reward a little bit skewed back into Soros' favor, right? But yes. risk reward definitely not skewed when you got death right on top of you, spinning twerk and keeping you locked down. Only four. Lazy Ruin's blown through almost all those stocks. Only two Ooh. left right here. Getting checked. Not going to need it. Uh, You might die for that. Yo. Yo. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Second hit of the auto combo is going to close it out. A little close to the cover, but it's all good. Yeah, I like the use of the uh, Raging Strikes to make sure that you're stalling out. Death was down off of the, uh, the backwards hitbox on yeah. that 5L from the Saurus, but, you know, still able to keep it up, get Death back up there for the kill. But now, all right, Coach Steve exploding out of the gate. He's pissed about that last round. He's like, no, let me run the offensive real quick. Oh, mix up. All right. Yeah, we're waiting for the Brave counter right there, playing around that range. Coach Steve not yeah. biting. We're going to spend a little bit meter on both sides. There it is, the ultimate dash punch. Are we going to see more meter? No. Look Ooh. at that damage, though. Yeah, I wonder if an old skill or another Raging Strike might have been able to kill, but doesn't matter. We leave that in the past. It's 6-6-L time to bring us to round three. Um, if we see Sora is going to install, too, the already very potent chip damage he has gets multiplied yeah. by a good amount, too. So, like, oh, yeah. even if even if combos don't kill with this character, you have to be aware of chip. It is so it's such a threat. Woo. OK, caught out the extended herd box there. Just kicking at the air. You dash punch to get right in your face. Clean tech coming out here from Lazy Ruin. Oh, there's the DP. All right. Got to represent it. U2U gonna gonna land a big hit right here. Oh, this could be trouble. This could be tired. No, not quite. All right. Might have been able to get something with a raging strike, but yeah. th that would have put you in a very weird position. I think that was the right call from Lazy Ruin. Still able to get the final hit here, too. So I don't know. I'll, I'll take that as, as proof of right. All right. First game over to Lazy Ruin. We were talking about the DP not getting you quite as much reward, and that is definitely the case, right? But still, yeah. having death in between you. Uh, and near, right? So scary when any of those ult skills pushes you out to the full screen, or if you're swinging the wrong way, can catch you out for a full counter hit as well. So not out of dodge just by blocking the DP, especially not out of dodge after getting caught by the death turn. 
Jeez, and look at this damage. Yo, got caught not blocking right there. Two three meaty two three six M. Absolutely bloats Coach Steve up. And oh yeah, that's it. This is set point for Lazy Ruin. Speed running it right now. Big punch man taking a lot of hits. I've L to knock death off of the screen, but you got near right behind with the raging strikes. Stalling for time, stalling for death. Oh, that's a punish. Yeah. Soros is uh finally gets a DP and finally gets baited. 70% meter right here. Not gonna see the super, but just needs one more hit. Ooh, slash out through with the 5H. Anything kills. Oh, wow. Able to check the doll, but just barely not far enough away to punish near it. It's the back throw that's going to do it for Lazy Ruin. Eliminating Coach Steve. All right. But honestly, hey, you know what? Shout out to Coach Steve. Very cool to see the big punch man himself soars in top eight. Thanks for pulling up, as always. Um, and now Lazy Ruin is going to have to face off against another big body. It is going to be draft time. So we're, we're going we're gonna to have both of our... our Round one losers contested uh, have to run the Vasaraga gauntlet, potentially. Yeah, let's see it. So Kilo versus Fusley is going to be the Belial uh, versus Vasaraga. And of course, we're going to see Nier versus Vas later on. So how are we feeling about both of these matchups? I mean, we saw Belial Vasaraga earlier, right? Where you're like, hmm, all yeah. right, do I want to pull up? Do I want to keep you at bay, you know, with a lot of these Goishas to interrupt? you know, these soul forges, or do I really want to be in your face, you know, rotate a lot of these plus frames to make it even scarier at the risk of getting hit with the U reversal. Yeah. It's honestly, it's all about knowing how to play around stance. Right. Um, like yeah. we saw, we saw MBK have a lot of really good moments where it's like, okay, block, 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 wait. Okay. I can up forward over this fraud, a, a JM cross up lands, full punish, probably in the corner because I've been blocking yeah. for this long. Right. Uh -huh. um, it, you just got to be patient. Um, and the problem with that is um, Fuselet's really good at peppering those command grabs in there. So if you're too patient yeah. and you're not, you're not getting your fuzzy jump game on a little bit, you might have a bad time. Yeah, exactly. So receptive to, oh, okay, I can see the fear so quickly, right? Before they realize, okay, I'm playing a little bit more passive. Let me switch it back up. Immediately, you see a little, you know, extension on that down back, and you're pulling up, stomp the yard into the command grab, like you said, just constantly keeping you on your toes. It's it's terrifying. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Um, it looks like we're just waiting on Kilo here. Cla classic Kilo moment. Probably fell asleep again. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> I think, Sleeping I think it on was the job, bracket. okay. Yeah, no, I think there was a bracket like like a year or two ago where where uh, Kilo passed out like right before top eight started, and like I think we had so the DQ funny. in the top eight. And mm, no, I don't, don't want to slander Kilo's name. That might not have been Kilo, but that happened to somebody. Uh, I can't remember. Right. Either way, Fuselit versus Kilo, losers top eight. Uh, winner goes out of fifth. Excuse me. Winner goes out of fifth. Jesus. Loser goes out of fifth. Winner gets <laughs> to move on to face off against the winner of Graf and Lazy Ruin. And use that already off to a pretty decent start right up until the jump in into the reset into the command grab comes in. You hate to see it. Ooh. Sending out the two M's, trying to stagger a little bit, but that just gives you the opportunity for the U reversal once again. Send the spin right in between you and Vasaraga. A little bit of room to try and challenge, but oh, okay, we thought it would cross up behind, but no, instead, one less stomp to make sure you get the anti air. Wow, anti air far heavy, able to get the EX Asmodeus cancel, and the slight delay on the command grab right there is going to allow it to catch Kilo coming down. Yep, Ooh. roll through. That's another option. Here we go. Let's go, Kilo. We got some counterplay going on here. Dude, roll through close H into the one hit super confirm is clean, but it still didn't kill. I thought you were dead off of the BP drain. I was I was a little worried about that myself, but oh, okay. We got options right now. That's why we don't give up right there. Even when chip looks inevitable. Nah, 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 nah. you never give up. Fuse, let make it happen in round one. Never give up, never what? Not afraid of the chip damage. No chip on your shoulder here, just keeping it clean. But Stagger off of the two M's does find the hit here for Kilo. All right, BC oh, out. No, you tried to no. get BC into Soul Forge, but you do. Okay, you're still able to get the seal here. Pick up off of the Raging Strike. All right, the Goisha hits a little bit right there, but you're not you're not too worried about that damage right there. Out of a bad position until you let Kilo get in. All right, we, we can RPS the stance. Command grab's going to land power up. All 
right, BC back into the corner, get the Soul Forge. Block the Asmodeus. Still able to jump back on out, though. Yeah, we're playing respectful of the U reversal. Yeah. There it is. All right, all right. Finally coming out. Uslet is uh, BP-less in Baltimore over here. Oh, no. That's it. That's crazy. All right. Well, command grab sometimes. Sometimes it's the command grab. That's how it be. And that's game one going to Fuselet. Damn, dude. That was that was the first game? I feel like a lot of these first games are, like, you know, time dilating. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just trying to get a read for your opponent. And then as soon as we head into game number two, both of them, you know, on the winners and the loser side, they solidified their game plans. They're like, all right, cool. I know what I'm doing heading into the next one. And once again, the side swing up against the wall. Trading ultimate skills left and right, too. Just burning through all this meter. Taking a little bit of damage, but neither player really getting great positioning. We're chasing. We are chasing so hard right here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. No, you still somehow won that interaction. All right, Kilo, you're sick. Lunch. Okay, yeah, gotta break it, and now, now you got nothing again. All right, stuck, and you got a lot of work to do too. Shoulder connects, and we got the buff, but okay, all right, never mind. Oh God! Once again, the ultimate Goisha just going right on through the Soul Forge activation jump past the U reversal. Kilo, okay. Kilo trying to tie this up. Oh my God! So who's this still up the game? Kilo, uh, you, can't, you can't ever count out Kilo. That's the thing. We we, we saw the Belial counterplay against uh, Fuselet in Winter, so it's definitely looks doable. Ooh, tried to hit it with the falling button. It's a full counter hit age coming out from Kilo. Oh, wow. All right, just gets hit raw by the Raging Strike, um, and you're not even going to need meter to do that. Um, Fuselet up one game right here, but Kilo on the verge of tying it up. Oh, Spending it all on the linebacker tackle. Use all the resources you got. Spend it off the raging chain. Still needs a couple more good hits to make your way through Kilo. Ooh, there it is. Still not Ooh. enough. You can't convert off that. And Kilo is allowed to rob it. We are tied at one apiece. So close there, but... All right, Kilo looking a lot better after that second game. One apiece right now, fighting for that loser's semifinal spot. Wow, there are uh, no conversion off the coin from Kilo there. It already committed. Uh, that actually lets Fusely get out right here. Power up, EX thrust through. Oh, stuff for that time. That's what I want to see more of Kilo. Look to deny the Soul Forge wherever you can. I like the dash on through, try and get that screen positioning, but it's BC right back. Wow. Dashing heavy actually connecting right here. We're going to get the setup off of Lannis Modius. Sheesh, reversal coming out. Clutch. Damn. Pick up into the super. You're so ahead on the Brave points right now. We only have one more Brave counter available for Fuselet. Back up against the corner, and you're waiting for the 50. Ooh. Big spot dodge. Here we go. I don't think this is going to be enough to kill, but this no. is going to be so close. That's going to be Ooh. enough, though. Oh, the Chicago punish? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a real one for that fuse. Let's go. Put a little bit of extra mental damage on there. Show him you got it like that. You don't yeah. need the real punish here. We're pulling up with the throw. Make no mistake. Fuselet has it like that. Fuselet, Fuselet's them for sure. With the oh. stomp. Elo, no slouch either, though. Still very much in this. Holding on to the life lead. Oh, wow. The last hit of Goisha catches, and we're able to get a conversion. Not a ton of damage, but you know what? We take that and just going right through. Full punish with the invincible U follow up. Ooh. There we go. Block the tackle. Do it again. Wonder what we caught out there, but either way, not able to get a full conversion off of it, but off the 2H, you are spin you, toss you right back into the corner. It's set point Do for it Fuselet, again. And off of the U reversal up against the wall. That is going to be Fuselet moving on to losers semifinals. And that means we are one step closer to a potential Vasaraka mirror. It's happening. We are. It's happening. <laughs> All right. That was fun as hell. I'm not going to lie.
That's what I'm saying. I had a damn good time. The voices are getting louder. The Vasaraga, you know, it's armor slumps good. are definitely getting a little bit louder here. But in the way of the Vasaraga loses semis mirror is Lazy Ruin fighting for their own run as well. Once again, who's been tearing it up, took the two over Coach Steve, but now you got to run into the Vasaraga. Are you familiar with the matchup? Are you ready to pull up here in the loses quarterfinals against Graf and all of Canada cheering them on? Near, I think Nier's got like good enough options of neutral to check, uh, like raw soul forge, right? I, yeah. I, I think there, there is some potential where as long as, as we are familiar enough where lazy ruin can, can put a, put a real good hurting on graph, but we'll see. We'll see. I haven't seen a lot of the counterplay, the near counterplay, I should say from Vasaraga. I imagine it involves a lot of command grab on offense. Um, cause obviously yeah. that blows up a reversal option. Um, but. Plenty, plenty of game left to be played. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how these two cats dish it out. Yeah, I'm curious. I would imagine this is one of the matchups where you know, thinking about where Near wants to place Death on the screen. Sometimes you really want to yeah, hold on, you know, for that DP and the enhanced normals as well to uh, you know box out and try and stay strong in that close range. I would imagine Near probably wants to either have Death in between her and Vasaraga to try and catch out any of these tackles, or like you said, right, to try and catch out the Soul Forge from the full screen, maybe just putting Death entirely behind. So, you know, going for the JUs, just tossing Death all the way over to the other side of the screen. So is Graf going to be ready to try and challenge there with the 5Ls or an anti air on the JU? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're going to see right now. Um, should be getting into this any second now. Y'all good should be good to start whenever you are, uh, whenever your hearts desire. Um, Got a shout out to Match Reno again. Still, uh, yeah. still looking to try to clear that top four payout. One fifty. We got twelve fifty there right now. So, uh, pull up if you can. I know these players would very much appreciate it. Hell yeah! And if you guys are feeling so generous, well, we got a little bit of downtime trying to make that payout, make the prize pool a little bit sweeter for these players. They are already playing their heart out, right? I can see, mm -hmm. I can see and feel the nerves from Lazy Ruin. The Vasaraga bros are tearing it up right now in the loser's side. You got the fan favorites pulling up here, but fight for your life as we head to the other side of loser's quarterfinals. Once again, Lazy Ruin versus Graf. Lazy Ruin versus Graf. All right. This is going to be a fun one. This, this, especially post like near nerves, I feel like this matchup has the potential for a lot of really interesting interactions. Yeah. I, I I really hope we don't see like one of them run the over other because I'm 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 trying to get my uh my money's worth tonight. You feel me? Exactly. I'm trying to see an absolute movie of a set going on right now. Stuck up against the wall, but you know, Graf not trying to be too aggressive to try and escape. Waiting for the 50 on the ultimate fireball, but caught out by Death. It's like we said before the set started. You want Death right in between to catch out, even with the ult slowdown. This is the spacing that that you want to play at if you're lazy ruin right there too. Like basically play the grand blue zone. You talked about doll placement. Put that yeah. piece right in front of Vasaraga. Threaten the frame trap. And if you see that jab six XL, you're at that perfect range where like you can try to go for the whiff punish. She's got some slower normals, so like that's that's very doable. Um, and of course you could check Soul Forge if you try to power up the skill that. Oh yeah. Oh no, dead. Yes, yeah, see, that's <laughs> dead though. So that's what we do. It that no, that's perfect from Graph. Yeah, perfect timing. You're thinking Vasaraga in this matchup, oh, trying to get in at every time possible. Every time you're in point blank, it's good for you and every time full screen. But like you said, if we're able to find a good challenge on death, once again, just knocking her off the screen. Full armor on through, we get the Soul Forge. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. 100%. You're busted oh. through like the Kool-Aid man, but stopping the approach right now, caught up with the meaty claws. Yeah, utilizing Ooh. that infinite armor option again, and that does leave you vulnerable to throws. That's that's where this matchup gets dicey, dude. Like, yeah, you, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. This matchup's about death placement. Yeah, and that was smart from Lazy Ruin, right? I think it's easy to see, oh, okay, I have the death in between us. I'm seeing the slowdown right now. Let me pull up to make sure I get the best punish possible. But Nose has been seeing a lot of these Vasaraga sets on stream and saying, all right, we have the infinite guard point. I know both of these players are so ready to try and look for, uh, you know, that reaction. So let me stay right out of range. And like you're saying, right, pull up for the throw right after. So game one to Lazy Ruin and another good start with a counter hit far M. Yeah, making a making a good argument for game two here in the first round. But we're finally going to get that reversal going here from Graf. All right. All right. Yeah. We saw the winners a few times from Graf. Get off to a slow start, turn on the gas. 
but <laughs> this could be trouble right here. What do you think? I think no, not quite. And it's the reversal Ooh. again. Invalidate that Oki. You escape the situation for now, but barely any health to your name. Waiting for the 50, so we're walking back, walking forward. I don't know if Lazy Ruin's gonna let you get the comeback here, but I don't know if that's his choice either way. 100 meter to try and escape, but 2M on the walk back. Wild. Uh, Voss has the potential for some like kind of wild damage route if you're if you're wise for some of these starters. Um, and and Graf looks like they're in the beginning of one of them going right there. Damn. And I like the shallow JU as well, right? We saw the attempt at Graf looking for the anti-air, so it's not that their reaction was wrong. We're looking for the spacing to have death fall right in between and then catch you out with the counter hit. Look at how much damage we've already taken. It's set point for Lazy Bruin. Jumps over the ultimate linebacker. And wow, still able to catch right here. One more. Yeah, it has to go for the reset right there. Yeah, the cross up, that's so dirty. Any of these setups where like the doll moves you, and you have to like realign yourself with where um, Nier is coming down on you is so tricky. We saw that a little bit in winners, um, and some some of these setups are just so messed up. Um, and that was that might have been the quickest two well we've seen tonight. That's crazy. That's what we've I'm saying. That, the age of Voss was pretty quick. Hey, we still have Fuselit chilling yeah. out in the loser semis. But I mean, like you said, right? It feels like so many of these sets have just gone the distance. Even the other two O's, right? Game by game, it felt like, you know, game of inches fighting for their lives down to these last hits. But Lazy Bruin was just doing such a good job of putting death out on the screen in a way that was difficult or really committal for Graf to try and counter hit, you know, challenge. In the in those first few rounds, we're seeing a lot of good challenges from Graf into the Soul Forge, then pulling up and taking a lot of space. But time after time, Lazy Bruin was able to escape and then once again put death on the screen in a way that was so scary. So... Graf moves on to loser semifinals against Fuselit, but we're headed back up to the winner's side. We got our first first to three match of the evening with Zerom and MBK. Yeah, another classic matchup. Um, this matchup used to be like one of Charlotta's worst matchups, um, yeah. I think, at least in the previous version. Ultimate skills give her a little more versatility um, for sure now, but I mean, the same could be said from Belial. And exactly. if you if you could effectively play around like Belial far H range or something like that, and just really abuse those big buttons he has, Charlotta players can be, can be hurting real bad real fast if you're not careful. But... Zerom's one of the best to do it. Zerom's played this matchup a million times. Zerom knows how to navigate this. So this this is going to be one of those ones that comes down to more the player matchup than anything, I think. Yep, let's see. I'm sure they've seen each other thousands of times before. Zerom versus MBK for our winner's final, Charlotta versus Belial. How is Zerom going to make his way on in here? All right, the delay slash is a good start. All right, bullying with uh, six six L right off the bat. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the two H, just Ooh. too far away to get the uh, light Asmodeus there. But we're still gonna get the next hit, and this is still gonna be a wall bounce to the corner. Super, yeah. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Give me that refund. Give me that damage. Give me that diamond. Now hold I'm already back. looking so worse for wear. Three VP for MVK. So any of these light confirms is gonna do a grip against the wall but we're fighting back out here with the 6xl oh goodness all right we're spending it let's get it oh yeah full corner carry love to see that this is where you want to be for serum yep tap them dome here with a triple attack i like the jump back air to air oh hey. we got the conversion there it is all right serum good stuff spending the money there getting the link getting the refund and eking out that last little bit of damage to put MVK in the ground Beautiful pick up off the old Charlotta ball first round here for Zeron. But again, we're in the first of three. We got a lot of time to try and adapt here. So you got to keep the momentum up. Triple attack into the low. BC out. All right. Crouch confirm again. This should be able to carry most of the way to the corner right here. Yeah. Run it. Run it the rest of the way in. I agree. Oh, no. No, we're going to convert that. Yeah. It'd be case sick with it. Uh, super again? Yeah, there it is. All right. Did it spend the diamond that time, so no refund, but that's okay. Sometimes you just want to take the damage. Oops. Command for a spike and spike kill. Oh, but Man. for who? Oh, no. You didn't have the meter to convert that. Like the plank, but just did not work. And now you're going to pay for that. Zero's going to take that damage. Yeah, thankfully, you know, spending the 1vp doesn't actually give you any of that damage penalty, but... 
god, sending the super early here, and that's the full confirm with 5H. I wonder what you were looking for there for Zeron. I don't know, but Zero, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. That was hateful. That was hateful. <laughs> and you know what? I respect it. I respect it. Yep. <laughs> Captain Sword at point blank. Yeah, we, we do that sometimes. Uh, we've all been spending too much time playing versus Sieg Hippolyte. Uh, that's that's just that's just how it be, you feel me? Oh yeah, yeah, DP in right through the wake up. I think the throw setup actually from Charlotta. Um, but either way, yeah, that loses the DP. I mean Zero so wins these scrambles, dude. How does he keep getting away with this? Dude, we're chilling with the Honda hands, chilling with the raging strike into the pickup ultimate demon flip is game one to zero. Dude. Minus that one round that MBK won, that was pretty convincing. Yeah. Cow. <laughs> uh, I love it when Zeron uses demon flip movement options to just like navigate projectiles and stuff like that. It's it's one of those little things that just gives me like a disproportionately big dopamine rush. Yep. Ooh. Jump up through awkward jump angle. BC for BC. Just trade the BP. No, but you're taking a counter hit heavy straight to the dome. Yeah, catch me with the super two. Uh, oh, I like that. So Zeron already spent the diamond, so we're gonna knock him down to one. Yep. Gonna eat this mix up in the corner. We no, just a meaty 2M. You might die for that, Zero. No, you're let me rephrase that, Zero. You are dead for that one, my friend. Hella dead. Up against the wall, still at BP behind it. 2M confirmed there. Sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Yeah, 100 percent 100 percent There's like this game's got mad situational confirms, and sometimes you just gotta make it easy on your hands. Yep. Plus frames into plus frames. Spot dodge of the Goisha. Alright. Good stuff, Zero. I'm able to steal back your turn. Get a little pressure on the corner going here. A little strike throw, maybe. No Ooh. fishing for the jump out. Not catching it. Oh, but you do get the cross out, though. Right under the demon flip. This is rough for Zero. I'm tried to keep the pressure on, but now you're getting so much damage off of the BP. Spend the super to get it right back. All right, here we go. Are we finally going to see the command grab? No, Zero is looking for it too, and MBK is not dishing that out. It has been strike every single time, and MBK has got the hit. I would say seventy-five percent of the time there, at least. Right? My goodness. Yo, MBK just unafraid of the DP says, "All right, I dare you. I'm looking for the frame trap. I'm looking for the full counter hit conversion on you trying to swing out of the corner here." Speaking of swinging from the round start immediately with the counter hit six XL. Punish on the DP here for MBK. Tying up the set count. Trying to take the lead. Yeah, not enough meter. Has to cash out the DP. Brave counter to get out. And we're, we're, yeah, just fight for your life right here. Huge life deficit. You got to make something happen to Nooch. <gasps> yeah. That Ooh, no bad. reversal to escape or anti-air for a little bit. Cooldown's back up here, but you've lost so much screen space off of it. All right, still plus six, even after a block Brave counter. Counter hit close, heavy to blow up the Brave counter attempt from Zeron. This is going to be a good chunk of change. This is throw range or command throw range. Yeah, you're not interacting with that at all. Instantly spending that. And now, you, now you're back. Now you have to hold it. Ooh, and yeah. Have. BP for BP. And that's fine, especially for MBK right now. No BP to uh, Charlotte's name. Just had to hold that on Zeron's side. But another round. Ooh. Absolutely, yeah. I'm a big fan of uh, resource trading in this game. Like, if you can yeah. force it out of your opponent, yeah, absolutely, that's worth it. Oh, all right, actually blocking the overhead that time. Zero, zero. I'm using that a little too many times, and it's six six L that takes it home again. A little recovery on the Ju right there. Mix up, yep. Delayed overhead. Ooh, a little walk back, walk forward, looking for the shimmy finds. The counter hit here on the linebacker tackle. No 6XL for you. We tie it back up. Man, if this is the first of two, this will be final game, final round. But these yeah. both these cats are just playing for the privilege to take the lead right here. Neutral jump to get over. Almost able to punish on the Charlotte ball. A little too far away. And Zerum is still going to take that. Damn. Scooped up here. Back out to the mid screen. Delay DP. Oh, tried to walk up for the shimmy. But instead, MBK looking for the strike on wake up. Hey, okay, UDP, hard knockdown here. Spend the 50 for it. I wonder what we tried to catch out there with the run-up to age. Maybe a fuzzy jump. 
definitely a possibility. Um, who's to say right here? Once again, using the JU to get around the ultimate skills. That was absolutely going to be a punish from Zeroam, and MBK had the reactions there. Uh, air stall. You saw the blue screen, and you were like, no, no, no. My Windows isn't going down just yet. JU for the air stall. Like you said, trading the BC. Oh. Went up against the wall. It's not, it's not close enough. And with the blue stuff again, strike throw. Oh, that's the new tech right there. I am so glad we got to see that. Yo, I'm gonna clip that because I'm gonna break that piece down later. Um, <laughs> it, you if you obviously if you block a brave counter, right? You're you're yeah. you're minus six still. Um, it, you could delay brave counter back so their iframes are gone, so uh, you just get your turn right back. Um, yeah, yeah, we we've seen that like a good amount in the last couple of weeks as people have been developing it. Um, but I think that's the first time we've seen that tonight here. Damn! We got a beautiful pickup coming out here from Zero. I'm off of the air to air, up against the wall. We're already down post 50% HP. Oh my god, and spends the 54. It gets the refund off the link. <laughs> mm, MBK's on that was post living touch? HP right here. Yeah, it sure was, pal. It sure was. <laughs> this, this Zero fellow's kind of good at Charlotta. Who would have thought? Oh my god. Are, are you referring to um, Arc Revo finalist, uh, Zero? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could be the one. Could be the same one. I haven't <laughs> seen them in the same room before, so. So true, so true. Oh man. Alright. And this is this is set point for zero. Oh my god. Um Ooh. MDK gonna have to uh put a few rounds together right here if they want to continue, because Zero is looking mighty powerful, especially when they're landing these parries. Oh, blocks the cross up low. Bends it. BP. Meaty has to spend the whole thing. We are we are both BP-less in Baltimore back here, and it's the back throw that's going to make it happen. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas, but the gamble does not work out. I love the run-up raging strike for Zerom to clear out the BP situation. You were down a brave point. And you said, no, no, no. Let me even this out and send myself into the grand finals winner's side. 3-1 over MBK. Yeah, if, if your opponent's not looking for that, because obviously we've seen a couple spot dodge punishes on the Raw Rage Strike before. Yeah. Media, it's harder. Um, but, like, if, if you can land that and clear out those battle points, that was, I'm, I'm not going to lie, that was one of my day one strats in this game to, to, yeah. to you know, get that little extra damage. But, oh, man, a lot of people have adjusted to that. So, big ups to Zero for yeah. finding the right spot to slide that through. Um, and we are going back down to our last first and two of the night. It is going to be Fuselet yes. versus Lazy Ruin. Lazy Ruin already knocking off one of the Vasaraga players tonight. We will see how they're able to do against Fuselet. Because, like, no disrespect to, to Graf. Graf played a phenomenal tournament. But, yeah. like, Fuselet's Fuselet. You feel me? Like, Fuselet's been, been terrorizing these brackets as Vasaraga for years at this point. Yeah. This is this is the Vasaraga you want to beat. Yeah, and we were seeing such good death placement for Lazy Ruin in that previous yeah. set. So I wonder, Fuselet surely was watching along, right? Being like, oh, okay, either I got to go against the mirror or I have to see what Lazy Ruin is pulling out against the Vasaraga here. So I wonder what the counter to the counter play yes. is. And once again, we're going to see it. Spend the BP for the round start here. The cinematic start. No BP to their name. It's full damage. All right. So that reminds me. Uh, Fuselet is the one who sent Lazy Ruin to losers. I had totally yes. forgotten about that. Um, so this, yeah. There is there is, uh, there's a little bit of history going on right here. Uh -huh. And there's a potential to be two touched off the ship damage. Jeez, nuts. These folks trying to play DNF duel, I suppose so. Pain's no right there, bro. Deleted. Yo, Damn. moving right through. Same thing. We saw that in the last matchup too. Uh, Fuselet's using that as a, uh, a movement option. Finally able to land some damage with a reversal here too. Soul Forge power up. Spot dodge through. Oh, wow. Okay. Once again, ultimate skills able to tank through some of that armor. That was not the infinite armor variety. Ooh. You tackle right. one hit apiece. It's a straight hit too, right? Because we have that extra damage. No, the turn didn't quite kill, but the vacuum right after frame trap the attempt to walk back up. That was the final cancel too. That was the last Ooh, stock yeah. place Ruin had. So that was like do or die right there. All right, let's get him. <laughs> Double tackle into the command grab here. Seize the fear. Lazy Ruin resting on the laurels right now, but is able to get the side swap back out. Sheesh. All right, has to break it. Down a considerable amount right here, but winning in the health department of Fuselet, able to reset to neutral. Back Ooh, action, yeah. Jump on through. You reversal again, the command grab. 
Especially if death's already out, right? Like Lear doesn't have air stall options, so you you could functionally yeah. punish jump ins with um with that with that DP option basically tank use the iframes to tank any jump in buttons um and yep. just grab you on the way down. Exactly, Jay, you're not gonna save you there, but six six M is gonna find the hit off of the meaty claws. There we go, early cancel into the vacuum. Gets the cross up, a great block on the jump in from Fuselet. Back up against the wall here for Lazy Ruin. Armor to tank death right here is going to let uh, Fuselet hold onto the corner right here. Power up, and th there it is again. Ooh. We saw that a ton in the last game. Stance right through to kill death. Um, but looks like Lazy Ruins had a bit of an adjustment right here because he's going to win that scramble and steal the corner to win on the cross up. Game one going to Lazy Ruin. Damn, the quadruple stomp, Lazy Ruin, just waiting for the opportunity to roll on through after the follow-up, and it gets them the game for it too, but Fuselet not gonna take that one lying down. Game number two. Yeah, Fuselet said roll this and threw up a command grab. That was clutch. Uh -huh. All right, so anyone's game, this is a first of two though, so like there is some robbery potential right here. If Lazy Ruin's able to get some gimmicks going, you know what I'm saying? Or honestly, just keep playing like this because Fuselet is having a rough time Ooh. blocking these mix-ups once again. Death sucked uh, Fuselet in a little bit, so that became fame side to cross up right there. That's that's yeah. very difficult to block. Yeah, the mix off of the vacuum and the mid screen is so terrifying. Built up the 100 meter you needed, spent the stocks for the extra damage. It's set point for Lazy Ruin. Yo, and gets the first hit and gets the full conversion into the corner. Oh, we got the setups. With DP is a little confusing right there, but that was just a, just a trick. 236M is going to smack you meaty. Yep. Ooh, speaking of smack, smack straight out of the skies here with the anti-air scythe pulling up and a tackle right behind. Spent the 50 for it. There we go. Yep, caught the roll that time. That's that's the scary part of the corners. A little bit of pushback to make that a little scarier. Soul Forge looking for a reversal option Ooh. right there and is going to utilize the armor to tank death. Use it. Putting one up on the board, staying alive. Yep. DP not found. It's still set point here for Lazy Ruin. Seeing some signs of life from Fuselet, though. Damn. Nice little pickup. Oh, no. Day two. We, we might be in the plunder right now. God, oh. yeah. One more touch. Wait. Might not even need it. You have BP behind it, but it's all good. The reverse. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, looking for it that time. All right, here's the setup, has to hold this. That was supposed to be guard cancel, so you get smoked. Yeah. You have to hold this chip damage, take the mix up. Oh, it's the mid? Oh God, are we gonna make our way through the health bar? We have SSBA for the full damage. It takes away two of those BP. It's a little extra damage on top. Is it too scale to kill? It's a no, it seals it out for Lazy Ruin. Two, oh. Big. All right. Yeah. Wow. From from being sent to losers by Fuselet to eliminating Fuselet rather convincingly. That this is this has been quite the run from Lazy Ruin. Um, putting both the Vasaragas in the ground and now gets to move on to losers finals, facing off against an MBK who probably wasn't too happy about how that round against Zero I'm going. I I don't know about you, bro. Like, I would not want to fight MBK right now. <laughs> like, you're, you're yeah, facing exactly. off against a locked-in MBK. He's got some revenge in his eyes. He is looking for that run back right now. But Lazy Ruin, you know, just got a run back of their own, right? Like you said, sent yeah. down into the loser side by Fuselet. Realizes, damn, I got to lock in if I really want to go the distance for this loser's run. Gets Graf in the path and gets a little bit of that Vasaraga practice right before. You're warmed up with a matchup. And then you run back into Fuselet saying, all right. I'm a little leveled up from the last time you saw me 30 minutes, an hour ago, and it's time to boss up. Losers finals, we got MBK versus Lazy Ruin with a Belial near. And I, so every, I feel like every time we watch these brackets, like top eight always has like a really good mix of like the cats we're used to seeing here and just some, just some like new face that came in um, or maybe that leveled up in like the last week before, yeah. like really makes a, a, a deep run and takes out some really good players. Um, I'm, I, I love seeing the development cause that obviously forces, uh, forces some of these established players to, to, to play around that, to, to grow, get better. Um, exactly. it's what it's all about, right?
Hell yeah, leveling up day by day, week by week, and even within the same bracket here, the Losers Finals. Let's see it coming up on our last few sets here. MBK versus Lazy Ruin with the air stall, but no, instead it's a shoulder check for MBK. Yeah, punishing the JU right there. MBK not falling for it, saying, yo, I got master rank with this character too, bro. You better oh, you yeah. better come correct if you're gonna send to me. I'm familiar, but familiar with all the damage. Gets the side swap, not able to get the full extension there, but it's all good. Whoa. All right. Well, there it is. Then a little BP right there. The jump in. Not able to get the full confirm right here. But we are going to get the counter hit close heavy. And that means we're going to the corner. And we know. No, we're not going to see the super. Oh, but we are going to see the ultimate. The death turn into the cross up to try and escape the corner. But off of the scramble. Still minus even on hit. So MBK fights back. MBK never to be counted out right here. Awkward trade of the Goisha is going to smoke death right here, so we're going to try to close the distance. Still ready for that, JU. Yep. <laughs> Check with the 2 2 L again. You can see uh, MBK was getting ready to throw out that 5 L right there. Yeah, clean pickup. Uh, a couple extra seals wasted on the, uh, you know, frame kill there, but it's all good. You still got more seals behind it. About to build up the 100 for the extra damage on Super. There it is. All right. We got it. We got it. Lazy Ruin. Spending it, tying us up here at one round apiece. We're back at first to three territory, so buckle up. We we are in for a long couple sets here. Checking oh, death with go. that 5L. Ooh. Awkward point blank, Oisha. And there's the throw. You saw the startup of death. That was 100% DP. Oh, nothing found off the slash, but still the EX vacuum. Just barely in range to uh, catch the approach here from MBK. Awkward spacing out here in the mid screen. Tries to go for the old skill to slow it down, but Goisha stops you and wastes the 50 meter. Yeah, Damn. that ultimate skill is not invincible. That can get stuff like that. Oh, just pressing far heavy. Yeah, if you're in that range, MBK is going to go for it. Okay, run up to M. Okay, double spot dodge, really looking for the brave counter there, but MBK a little too wise to your tricks. And there it is again, the double brave counter. MBK, yep. no bravery points right here. Woo. You know, and getting punished. Yeah, run up throw is going to do it for Lazy Ruin right there. Taking game number one. Yeah, we did whiff the ultimate slash run up for the throw right behind it. The confusion on MBK's face and taking full advantage. Game number two, let's see it. Yo, Roundstar Goisha is working out really great for dealing with these JU shenanigans yeah. and Lazy Ruin. MBK also going to sneak the crouch confirm right here. Oh, oh, heard the clash. Wasn't able to react in time. No. Oh, not able to block on the uh, cross up there. It said punish, so maybe looking for a dash L. Caught on the dome. Now you're back up against the wall. Nice challenge on death. Catches near right behind it, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't OS that one, unfortunately. Uh, nope. That is just going to X the counter. Ooh, a little bit too far off for the 2H to connect, but all good. Vacuum you right into the Raging Strike. That's down 2 BP and down all the health you need. Lazy Ruin takes another. Lazy Ruin putting up uh, quite a streak right here. One more to take two-game lead over MBK, although if I know MBK, are still trying to put this game plan together, still trying to make this happen, not going to give up yep. yet. Still fighting for our lives, blocking the cross up here. Death's back up, though. Big 2H. All right, there it is. Good. Yep. All right, we're going back to the corner right here. Pressure it up. Look for the DP. Oh, another crouch confirm. Here we go. Super might kill here. I'm not going to lie. Are we going to see? Yep. And there it is. That's good. Duper, yep. Damn, go dude. The PP train right behind. Barely a pixel left after the cinematic. There we go. MBK tying up the round count. All right. That's knowing your range is right there. Maximizing your hits. Trying to stay alive here. Fighting for their life against Nier. Not able to get the punish on the dashing H. That is a okay because this neutral is. Oh no, it is not looking good. Never mind. Never mind. We're back. We're so back. 
It's not looking good, not looking great. Five H into the death call once again. Vacuum for the cross up, but no, MBK is not going to get opened up by that. Are going to get opened up by 2M though after the death calls. Three stocks to your name. It's a lot of extra damage on the super. All right. Yeah, oh, if you're lazy, oh, you're no. fine with winning it out here. Swept up, but not enough. Yeah, that's chip for sure. For sure. 236M does so much chip. And honestly, I think all the 236 series, like, it's a lot of chip. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is two games to zero right now. MBK needs to, to get the adjustment in now, or Lazy Ruin is going to take this 3 0. Yep, two games to zero. One game away from seeing Zero in the grand finals. MBK trying to put a stop to it, but seeing them play a lot more passive right now, trying to wait for all these stocks to run down, but rapidly building up meter on the way. EXDP through. Oh, that, yeah, that's a pretty decent starter right here. Should yeah. be a good chunk of change for MBK. Might even see, yeah, we're gonna see the super. Absolutely. We spent the we spent the bravery point. Give me that refund. All of this, you spaced yourself out with the double two M caught out with the five H after counter hit puts you just outside of one touch, but six six L into the raging strike. Okay, MBK. That is that is the turnaround we needed for MBK. We had nice convincing round. Run on the game plan. Let's see, let's see if Lazy Ruin's shaking or not, but Oh, oh, okay. I thought we were going to see the full confirm there. That really scared me. Extend the leg, get death off the screen. Back up here for the DP threat, though. Damn, challenge immediately after anyway. MBK a little bit down on the HP, but you still have so much left that you're fine with challenging back. Wow, jumping right over the ultimate skill, too. Just completely invalidating that meter usage. Yo, I, what just happened? Who dodged? Somebody got crossed up, and it might have been both of them. I don't know. Either way, Lazy Ruin's going to win that interaction. And possibly this one as well? No, has to spend it. Still one hit go. away, though. MBK is mm, in a rough spot. Woo! All right, even the BP. Just barely outside of range of the super, but trying to go for the ultimate as Modius. Nothing found off it, though. Maybe a little bit too early. 6-6-L, six, six, we whip it and catch you out of the skies. MBK, a game on the board. Finally get it right there. It's so scary. SSBA was on deck for Lazy Ruin. Um, I think still had a had a diamond there. Brave counter. Man, I don't know. That was that was, that was a rough spot, but MBK made it happen. Yeah, right. I know. I know. Ninety percent of the crowd is like, hell yeah, we brought it back for MBK. And then there's that ten percent that's like, yeah, we really did whiff six six L into close L <laughs> and tier to catch the jump on the way over. I see you. I see you. Don't let the war crimes go unattended here, but game number four. Lazy Ruin. Let's see if we can bring it back. Oh, okay. Frame trap off the DP, shutting that down. Ooh, stick out the leggy, run up for the tackle. Yeah, these checks on death from MBK are so good, but still, with a little bit of patience, death is back up. Barely any stocks, though. Sheesh, counter hit dashing him. I think you're still minus on that. It, you can't combo it, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if MBK could have challenged there. Regardless, Lazy Ruin is on step point, on the verge of eliminating the mad best killer and moving on to grand finals to face off against Zero. Yeah, let's see it. MBK wants to run back bad, but one round might stop you in your tracks. Pull up for the throw right past the DP. MBK starting to say, I am sick of these DPs. It's throw time. And there it is. There's there's the strike part of that mix up. We're going to see it, and that is going to kill with the super. Say goodbye to your health bar. MBK, one more round. Stay alive here. Keep it clean. The full confirm into super. Yeah, like you said, Lazy Ruin still on set point here. Yeah, still very doable. And that's a great way to start it. Far heavy. Convert with death. Yeah, we're going to take that damage. A little mix-up action. Wait for the brave counter. Dash through. Yep. And MPK not biting on any of this. Not a single part of it. Ooh, there we go. Does find the counter hit here off of the 6-6-L. After this is one touch off the meaty 2-3-6-L. 
basically one more hit for Lazy right here. Good start thinking about chip damage too. Yeah, there's oh. the install super. That's why one of the one of the few niche scenarios where yeah, let's install right here. I just need to blow through as many of these as I can. I need to chip you out. And hey, you know what? We're gonna start with the DP because I know you know that. I know you're gonna try to jump. Yeah. All you need is the one touch. You're low on stocks. So you're not trying to gamble, especially when you know MBK is so optimized on the combos. Don't give him any opportunity to try and fight back. Death between you and the run back and Zerum, and the install saves the day. Lazy yeah. Ruin moves on to loser side of Grand Finals. One more time before we hop into Grand Finals, we do still have this here match arena locked in and ready to go. Um, I'm I'm really trying to get fuse lit in that payout. So if yeah. you're uh, if you're feeling generous, hit the contribute button. Um, if we get to 150 in the match arena, that will get all of top four paid. Um, Thank you again, everyone who used the codes. Um, and uh, no, oh, oh my God, I almost forgot my favorite way to uh, to to add to the match arena. Buy a shirt, bro. Oh, yeah. Buy a buy a NWA hoodie. Um, they're sick. Take my word for it. I own several. <laughs> I think I've seen you layer on the hoodies. You know, you're like, all right, you've seen this one hoodie. Well, what if there was one? of a different design right below it that you guys could pick up on the exclamation point shop. And if you ever forget the link, don't worry. It's super easy to remember. You got impurist.club. There are so many ways to try and support some of them going to the prize pool, some of them going to the TOs that are hosting as well. So there's a lot of ways to keep WASD up and running and try and bring more of these players into that prize pool payout. So hopefully if you guys are feeling generous, make sure to stop on by man Lennox we got our last set of the evening Zerom has been sitting pretty in the winner's side of grand finals waiting to see who moves on from losers and it's going to be lazy ruin and Zerom is no stranger to this matchup had to play it at arc revo had to play it a ton at frosties um yep. and was the only one that could beat zippy if i remember correctly yeah um Beat Zippy in winners finals. Uh, I believe lost in grants. Obviously, Zippy reset that because Zippy be Zippy. Um, yeah. But like that, that was convincing. I believe. I believe I lost money betting for Zippy, betting against Zero, um, uh, in the crowd. Which, which you know, it'd be like that. That's how it goes. The side bets do what they do, but betting on success here. Heading into game number one, we're immediately letting it rock with the EX Charlotte ball. Yeah, Zero, I'm doing all like the quick checks right here just to, to really make Lazy Ruin think twice about throwing some stuff out in neutral. And this is the Charlotta show right here. This is the pressure we've seen from Zero for years at this point. Oh, yeah, we're going to confirm that. We're going to get the refund. We're going to spend everything. Look at the scaling on this. You are somehow not dead. Now you're dead. All right. Just a, just a little Charlotta reset. No big deal. I truly, with my whole Charlucy, thought that shit was going to kill. But all good. Still able to kill off of the scramble. Either way, a big counter hit. Trying to bring the momentum back into Lazy Ruin's favor. But BC to try and stop you right in your tracks. Chop off of the Demon Flip. Yeah, yeah it's swipe on through. Good. Does find the check on death. Every time. Tries to do the, the JU right there with death dead. And, and Zerom has very consistently got the... Uh, the ultimate Charlotte Ball punish with that. Yep. Ooh. BC right on through the claws. There we go. Two throws. Do we make it three? No, it's the jump in. No check from Lazy Ruin. Zero. That was a quick game one, bro. Yeah, that was a quick game one. What, what, what did I say? I don't even know. Yeah, Lennox, what did you say over there on the commentary? Now, what's going on over there? Anyway, oh, back know. to was the it game. You? No, it's... No, sure, I, I never say anything suspect over here right, on the commentary cool. mic, but I do suspect we were looking for the anti-air there. Counter hit on the jump in, but just a little bit too late there from Zerom. Uses the BC to clear death right off the screen. Oops. Yeah, safe off to the pushback. Oh no, is this, is this it? Is it Jover? I think it's oh, Jover. Really not. It's a little scary. No! Oh, I, I forgot Jover. you had some extra meter behind it, too. Oh, my God. Lazy Ruin spent all the BP in the world. Make sure we kill there. Dude, Lazy Ruin is looking locked in in game two right now. Zerom, oh, yeah, fight for their life. Brave counter just to kill death. Oh, oh yeah, we're pressing far out. We're pressing far out. All right, let's go. Oh. 
We're pressing death turn here, trying to keep you at bay at the full screen. Spent all the meter for it. Still got 50 back for it, though. But now you're going to be losing 50 HP or more up against the wall here with the old ball. Oops. Some of this damage, bro. Some of this damage. Lazy <laughs> making it happen here in game two. We're hopping right back into it. They talk about Street Fighter 6 rematch. Nah, this is Grand Blue rematch. This is, this is optimal right here. There was, there was exactly. no time for any mid-round shenanigans. We're just, we're here to game. Especially in the grand finals, right? Zerov is trying to, you know, close it up as soon as he can. Lazy oh, yeah. Rune is trying to keep up that loser's momentum as well, but I don't know. Off the Charlotte Ball, you're eating a lot of momentum in this damage. We spin right on through. Now you're in throw range. You have to be doing, like, preemptive adjustments against Zerov. It's it's yeah. very frustrating. <laughs> this, dude's, this dude's adjustment Ooh. game is some of the strongest I've seen. All right, SSBA, we're gonna get that full animation right here. It's not gonna be nearly enough to kill, but now we have no bravery points here for Zero. Brave counter is no longer a factor, but the overhead is gonna be more than enough to catch that extended hitbox. Yeah, he tried to swing on through, maybe trying to catch out the plus, uh, the plus dive kick version, but either way, sniped out here by Zero up against the wall, playing it a little bit more patient. I say as we let the EXDP rock. Sometimes you gotta let him know. Zero, zero, um, no, like, I get that. I get that. Zero, um, zero um, does break out the patience. Zero um, has streaks of patience that are, frankly, terrifying to deal with. Yeah. Oos. All right. Good answer right there. Yeah, a little too minus to, to really try anything else, though. All right. Yeah, I was going to press it after that. Might as well. Ooh, looking for the oh. high low. Instead, just tries to bait out a DP afterwards. Swipe on through with the BC, but we're trading BP for BP. One apiece here. Oh, but UDP just barely out of kill range. I think Zerom was banking on that kill, but the frame trap is still going to do it. And now Zerom is only one game away from sealing out this tournament. Right, let's see a potential final game of the evening. And once again, we start it like we're trying to end it with the EX Charlotte Ball round start. Oh, hey. no. It's it, it might be over. Oh, no. Zerom throwing out the command grab already. Sign of the time, Oh my god, even off the minus frames here, space out, knows that Lazy Ruin, a little scared to try and mash over here in the corner, so you take your turn, find the hit, it's tournament point for zero. One more. All right, Lazy Ruin gets the first hit, though. Zerom's going to have to block this out. Yep, there's the spot dodge, wait for the Brave counter. Zerom delays it and runs into the DP. All right, all right. Look at this, not even 80 seconds left, and, and Lazy Ruin only has four stocks left. Oh no, that's gonna be a punish. Spot dodges the Raging Strike, and gets the reset off the uh, the Light Shell out of all, I believe that is tricky. Yep. Yeah, the close out right in your face. Not able to get too much off of it though, but you are able to kill off the ultimate death turn. Lazy Ruin doesn't want to go out just yet. Still tournament point for Zerom though. Yeah, still, still very much anybody's game right here. Lazy Ruin can tie this up, but Zerom is in a really good position to close this out. Oh, no, that's a punish. Yeah, all right. A little late on the DP right there. Not going to get a hit. Um, Lazy Ruin should be able to set up the mix-up. Oh. Kind of baits the Brave counter. Yeah, not quite ready for the punish. Awkward spacing there. Just trying to make sure you don't get caught out by the extension. But there we go. Ultimate for the extension. Raging Chain. Spend another BP for it. Oh, it's close with the combo limit. It doesn't quit kill. Had to DP. Yeah, you were worried about Chip right there. That's going to hit raw. No bravery no points way. left. I don't think you have enough meter to kill a zero, but like this is scary. Touch, it's though. So scary. <laughs> all right. Deep breath. DP kill. That's all good. <laughs> Jesus. We get at least one more game. We're one away from a reset or we're one away from zero. I'm taking it home. The extra lot of ball just waits out the DP full confirm here up against the corner. Yeah, it doesn't get hit by at that time. Um, and now sitting on a pretty decent life lead right here. Should be able to play the control <laughs> game. Side switch, not enough meter to continue that, though. That sucks. We saw Whiff 6XL into the anti-air. Now we see Whiff Charlotte Ball into the anti-air. But either way, you spent the 50 meter for it. I think we're a little less mad about that one. Lazy Ruin, definitely not too happy about it, though. Spends the BC to escape the corner. Delayed ultimate DP is going to catch the Ooh. jump, but the counter super is going to rob Zerom of the rest of his diamonds. Not going to be nearly enough to kill here, but that is a good chunk of damage. 
Yeah, once we build up 25 behind it, any light confirmed should be able to kill with their Raging Strike. So we're fine with letting the BC rock. We got resources to spare, but one of those resources is not the health. We slash on through Charlotta with the Honda hands. One round away from sealing it out once again. Once again on tournament point. We'll see if Siram can close it out on this time or if Lazy Ruin can put together enough rounds to reset this bracket. This is this could still go either <laughs> way, dude. Lazy Lazy is, is getting in it right now. It, it is crazy that the Light Charlotta Ball was able to clear out death and also whiff right in front of Lazy Ruin's face. They were ready to challenge on block, but nothing ever came. BC on the ultimate Charlotta Ball. Oh, BC to kill death. Oh. Hey. All right. Bro. They're just spending all the money right now. All of the meter is getting spent. Spent all the money. No, no, oh, HB to your name. Up. You should have spent it on insurance, but we insure the kill with the super. Reset point, tournament point, one round away. Jesus. All right, final game, final round here at Grand Finals. All right. Shandu playing it a little slower now. Death check right here. Demon Flip mix up, takes the plus frames, yep. runs it from the DP. That's fine. Not as scary as it used to be. BC. Yep. Ooh. Tap on the dome here, back into the corner. Spends another BC for it, even on the BP. Both these players looking for the 100. No, instead we spend the 50 for the hard knockdown DP. And Lazy Ruin follows like minds think alike. Something like that. See, I'm just doing a better job of holding on to this meter for, for the defensive options. We're really, using DP to shut yep. down some of these movement avenues for, for Lazy Ruin. Uh, Wait, yeah, no, okay, we get the cancels. We get the cancels, yeah. This should be enough to kill. Yeah, oh my goodness, that's it. That is it. Charlotta taking it. Zeram is your WASD champion. Very impressive stuff. And final game, final round, no less. Strong showing. You had the BP, you had the meter, you had the grounded hit, you were set up for success, and Zerom not one to drop in the heat of the moment. You're champion of WASD Open number 17. But like you said, Lennox, down to the wire, we were one round away from the reset, but Lazy Ruin off an amazing run, just not quite able to flip the bracket over on its head. But amazing work to both of these players. Yeah, really solid run from Lazy Ruin. Um, blew through both of our Vasaraga players, <laughs> By the yeah. way, um, very, very solid showing. Look forward to seeing them in bracket in the future, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, big ups to Zerom. Um, Zerom still staying strong after the uh, the Arc Revo showing. So yeah, happy to see that. I'm assuming we'll also see the Macamo Breaker, but to be determined. Um, but for right now, that's that's all we got. Match Arena is still open if you want to contribute. Um, get some of these cats in the money. Um, but until then, uh, I think, uh, I think we're getting out of here unless you guys have anything uh, you want to go over. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's been an absolute joy. It's been your boy Jetsu hanging out with Lennox on the mic once again. What is this? This is like block 100, 200, etc. at this point. Yeah. But it is always an absolute joy to hang out with you guys. And, of course, the wow. WASD folks as well. Imp away right now. So big shout out to Koyo as well for handling and holding down all the production. And, of course, the rest of the TO team over at WASD giving us another Grand Blue Weekly. I don't know if you guys have anything else to say for the people before we head home. But, of course, it's a big thank you to everyone who pulled up chat players etc etc indeed indeed mm -hmm. oh, that's all i got yeah. follow me on twitter i'm going to bed <laughs> <laughs> yeah for for us all i'd want to say is thank you to everyone who joined um it's glad just to always see more people coming back and seeing some new faces always great to see um i should be doing some shilling just make impy proud uh so we are wazed uh, we run multiple weekly brackets. Uh, Monday, we run uh, Type Lumina. Wednesdays, we obviously, we obviously run uh, Grand Blue. And on Sundays, we run uh, Uni 2. So if, if you're interested in any of those, please do check out the Waz Discord. Um, check out the merch, as uh, Jaytsu puts in the chat there. Uh, the YouTube. Yeah. The bracket will go up onto the YouTube immediately once the uh, stream is done. And, uh, yeah. I don't think I need to keep y'all any longer. I don't think I have the ability to raid to anyone. Um, one of the things I, I don't think I have is a moderator. <laughs> but, um, so I think we're just going to be ending it off there. Uh, Lennox Jetsu, 
amazing work as always. Thank you so much for being here. But yeah. All right, everybody. It's been great. Have yourselves a good night. Have a good one there, gamers. Peace.